that did, had to do like 20 days of travel. Yeah. But then like the Monday group, uh, when we were in the Isik part of the campaign, the uh, Secrets of Isik chapter, we spent like um, 16 months real time in, in, in Isik, and it was like a few weeks in game. <laughs> Good God. It was, I, I never want to see Isik again. <laughs> I don't blame you. So, next campaign, Isik. <laughs> <laughs> well, this group hasn't done the uh, Char games yet, but yeah. I still am working on the Teruvian Empire Tyvanis game. So, yeah. that should be an option at some point. Cool. Rough bridge when we come to it. Uh, Although yeah. that's uh, that's a completely different world from this one. Oh. Well, <clears throat> same world, but like five hundred years in the future, so you're not underground but anymore. Be the same characters, unless we're like really long lived. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I think everyone's gonna grow new characters. You say that. It, it would be cool to only do like thirty-eight right now. It would yeah. be really cool. It would be really cool to um like. Anvir, you know, honestly, Anvir should not be that young. I should have made you at least be like eighty, because yeah, you're honestly, basically you like a five-year-old. If you want, I can write on that because ever since I've like really been looking into elves, I'm like, God, I have made him so young. Uh, it's up to you. Maybe you like you're one of those like people who pretends to be really young. Like I'm Maybe only, just I'm, say, only oh. I'm the equivalent of a thirty-year-old. Well, yeah. and th I think though, I don't. I think that elves reach maturity. You know, I don't think it takes them fifty or a hundred years to reach maturity, does it? Like, like biological. Maturity. Uh, no. I mean, physically, no, but like mentally, okay. they they spend a lot of time on things. Like, whereas yeah. humans take like you know, like what is it like eight to ten years to get through school? Like they're just taking their sweet time and very slowly <laughs> training their their young. While the, uh, cause they don't, they don't care cause they live so long. So they don't need to rush to like get their people ready to join society usually. So it's just a longer process to mentally mature for an elf. Gotcha. <laughs> At least that's always been my read on it. Yeah. Well, I, I created Barrel before I actually knew that you didn't want like children or really like, uh, unmatured character well it's just it's hard to justify a child surviving like where an adventurer would be you know doing stuff gotcha. just because it's so yeah. dangerous yeah. well like, barrel is barrel is eight because kobolds reach maturity at age six or at least they did at the time i built her i think they've revised the class or the race a bit um, yeah but i could have made her a bit older <laughs> yeah no, that's fine i mean she it, there's nothing wrong with being uh uh, a somewhat slightly younger character that has been through a lot. It's just definitely not the norm. Uh, yeah, if you want to age him up, that's fine. If not, we can just roll with it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just say he's like, he says that he's like the equivalent of a human fish. That makes sure. sense. Sure. Yeah. All it's right. an easy way to keep, keep what you've told people, you know. So probably like Hundo 50 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, as I was telling them, Mary, I'm a little bit uh, sickly, but hopefully I can... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm still dealing with some stomach and, like, reflux issues. Ugh. Yeah, so I've been having some trouble sleeping. Uh, but I think I should be good. I had some coffee and some caffeine, so hopefully that'll... Probably not the best thing for my stomach, but, you know, it'll at least keep me uh, conscious. Uh, so, LJ, I think it would be your turn to scribe, if you're okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. And Anvir, as the previous scribe, do you want to give us a quick recap? Yeah, just go pull him up. What session is this? Uh, it's session like 73. Thank you. Which is not a fairly short. Not my highest uh, session count. I know you did one that was like hundred and something like recently. Yeah, my highest one right now is in like one fifty, I think, or one forty something. Damn. Yeah, dang. It's a couple of years. Is that Monday? I think it is. It's either yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Monday. Uh, Monday. It would have been Tuesday, 
but Tuesday was my oldest, now Monday is. And I think Thursday after that. And Monday and Tuesday were pretty close. Like your old Tuesday group was only, I think, maybe a month off from... Yeah, you were like when it started. five or six sessions ahead, I think. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, go ahead whenever you're ready. All right. Uh, after going inside and the Steel Shadow member breaking out of my spell, we fought him in, uh, while in combat. Uh, about a, uh, And while in battle, a new friend showed up. Uh, casting a spell to help us after some introductions, we continued forward until we came across more members. Uh, we've cut them down quite a bit, but uh, we are wounded and our new friend went down. Hopefully we can help him. Because not a lot happened last night. Uh, yeah, it was a good amount of fighting. Uh, you had killed your prisoner as you made your way deeper into the place, found those dead trolls, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so, it is the 32nd of spring at 11.10 in the a.m. And I guess uh, we can go back into the combat. So, Nathaniel was up. Let me pull up his sheet just to see uh, how close he is to dying. He was fatally wounded by the elemental burning him with a crit, I think. I so. It's unfortunate. And I also believe he is on fire. Uh, yes. Uh, he is. So that would be a failed save at the beginning. So he has one exhaustion level. Uh, failed... Yeah, you get automatic death save failure when he burns. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's not doing good. Uh, all right, and uh, end of his turn. Let's see how he does. Okay. Uh, the wizard was trying to fly away, but that didn't work out. And you countered that. So she is just going to turn towards... Uh, who countered it? Oh, it was Nathaniel. That's why he couldn't reaction the, uh, the thing that happened. Uh, yeah. so she's gonna turn towards, uh, I guess Sira. Hmm. Yeah, I guess she's just gonna try to blast you since she can't get away now. So she does her multi-attack, channeling several arcane blasts at you. Or arcane bursts. 25. Guessing that would strike you with the first one. For 13 force damage. Uh, second blast. No reactions or anything, right? Um, I don't remember what I have on this character, honestly. I'm still getting used to her. Alright. I don't think you do. Uh, 19? That hits. Some good rolls for that. I don't think oh, wow. You have stuff ranged attacks, but uh She does, unfortunately she's engaged at this point. Uh so concentration check as you're blasted a second time and she yells die. I remember, Go ahead. I remember what I'm concentrating on. You're concentrating on something on this guy. It like was suggestion or something. Yeah, it was oh right, yeah, you so. told him to go uh go hide mm. over there. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so you hold the spell, and she Jesus. will attempt a third blast, a third and final blast. 18? That hits. Alright, so that unfortunately does drop you, mm -hmm. and she's going to go 5, 10, giving you an oppy, Anvir, if you want to take it. Uh, I will, and I will, because I'm a warcaster, my opportunity will be told to it. Dong. Oh, wait, actually, sorry, I have to be honest here. I'm 40 foot in the air. Oh, right, you're flying. Thank you for reminding me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Runs down this way, ends her turn. Uh, Fire Elemental is down. LJ. Uh, LJ is going to attempt a check to try to stabilize Nathaniel. 
Alright, that is a healing check. Uh, fairly, well, moderate difficulty. DC and 10. That would, would be a medicine? Yeah, yeah, sorry, medicine check. Alright, so yeah, you successfully stabilize him. Oh boy. Uh, when I stabilize him, do I take out the flames too? Oh, true, he is on fire. That is a different Oof. thing. That would be an action. Oh, fun. Uh, Someone's got to put him out. I'll take you guys out have been fire. you guys have been so busy blasting. You haven't been getting these Can guys I... on. Yeah. Also, I need to roll my fire check. Um. Uh, it's a D six, I think. Well, technically, he just went down. Like we haven't had it. We had didn't have a chance to bring him back up before he, he had. His I mean, steps he's in. been on fire for a while, though. Oh, the fire! Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was uh, yeah. So instead of trying to say wise, can I try to take down the fire? Uh, yeah, sure. So that would just be an action to put him out. You want to do that instead? Uh, yes, please. Okay. So he's no longer burning, but he is still dying. Uh, and you would take a D10. Cool. Uh, so six fire damage. Uh, I believe that would be my turn. Alright, uh, so since the Sierra went down, this guy over here is no longer under the effect of the, uh, thing, I believe, because she can't concentrate. Uh, but Sasira, I need you to whisper me a death save. She was companion on the second attack anyway. Oh, okay, well. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, f I just, I just logged off from work, like, as I joined, so I'm eating, and I'll, 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 right, I'll uh, my computer. Go ahead. I can roll it for you, that's fine. Oh, okay. So, let me, actually, I have dice, I'll just I roll can, the dice. I mean, I can roll it, like, when I get back to the computer, and you can continue with the next turn. Uh, well, so you might you roll a natural next. 20 to pop back up. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Oh, it's up to you. We can it's wait. Start of your turn. Yeah, we can wait a moment. I'm heading it's back no to my now. I'm sorry. I thought. Run, Mary. Run. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was <laughs> trying to run the city in my face. All right. Run. So. All right. So you know what you got. Fortunately, it was not a natural twenty. Eldwin, <laughs> you might be uh, thinking that leaving your party alone was a bad idea at this point. <laughs> I like to point out I was told to leave them. True. <laughs> yes. We got this. Oh God! <laughs> like the balance has shifted. I never no. said that. What do you want to uh, do? This guy next to you is no longer uh, charmed, so he's getting up. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't my biggest fan to begin with, anyway. Uh. Yeah, I just want to make sure I didn't want to do anything else. Yeah, he would have uh, just, gonna... just cowered there. But anyway, go ahead, sorry. No, uh, I'll take two uh, stabs at him. Alright, so you... Uh, first one booming. Lunge forward with a booming blade. Haha, oh yeah, 26 lands. Doing 14 and wreathing him in lightning, or sorry, thunder energy. Wow. Uh, 22 will strike with your second attack. Ah, bastard. Just do another 14. Uh, anything else? Uh. No, that's all. Alright, Onvir. Flying high above. Uh, your people. Looks like he's still bleeding out. She just started bleeding out. <laughs> and the wizard is running away, so you got some decisions to make. <laughs> I really do. Should I bust out the scroll? Save lives or blast? Or take lives. <laughs> yeah. Why not both, honestly? <laughs> hey, if you got some. Uh, hey, Weather and Bloom is a spell that exists. Yeah, but it's in a small AoE. True. Isn't that a um, druid spell? I don't know. Yeah, and that is a druid spell, yeah. I don't know if it's actually... I think it's also on the wizard oh, yeah. list. Um, 
I think it is, actually. It's also kind of overpowered. I feel like oh, Wizards yeah, just... Man. I feel like Wizards of the Coast just gave up balancing. Like, oh, that sounds cool. Let's make that spell. Wait, doesn't this spell, like, do half of what this new one does? Yeah, well, whatever. But anyway, it's just, just me. Not bitter. <laughs> I will pass a second level healing word, because I have no first levels. Alright, so I don't... Th well, I guess you could move no, if you um, want to... As terrible as it's going to sound, I, I'm not doing it on this. Oh, I'm doing it on Sandra. Okay. Oh, if actually, he dies, he dies. <laughs> hold on, give me a quick second to maybe think about that. One. What's the range on this? There. So you'd probably have to drop down a bit, but you could do that as a movement action. He, I will say he does look like he's in a worse shape than she does, because she just went down. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure And he's out. on fire. Well, no, he's, he's no, fire. he's not anymore. Actually, you're still on fire, aren't you? You got the red dot. I am, actually, now that I think about it. All right, hang on. Let me do that roll real quick. Six fire damage. All good. Ah. Luckily, I think you have some temp HP. Oh, oh wait, no, uh, you I do not. Mind. I'm a liar. But I'm also not that hurt yet. Um, yeah, I'll have to. Fire elementals are so mean. What I could. Do? I think I can hear Nassar without uh, Nassar without moving, but Nathaniel on the other hand. Yeah, you could target her down below. For him, you'd probably have to descend a bit. I think I'd need to get within twenty feet of him because I'm forty foot up, right? Uh yeah, something like that. Right. I mean, um, yeah, if you flew over twenty feet, I'd say you could reach him from forty. Yeah, I'm gonna fly. Sorry, my cursor has just decided to vanish. Oh, my connection got lost. That's why. Yeah. Oh. It's back. Uh, so I'm going to go... Oh. I'm going to go, like, here. Alright. Yeah, that should be in range. And I'll bonus section do the second level healing word on him. All right, so you channel some healing energy, bringing him back from the brink. So he's healed for nine points of damage. Nine. Uh, oh. Making him conscious. Still prone, but uh, yeah. And not, like, on oh. not on fire as well, which he is grateful for. I'll spend the rest of my movement going here, and then I'll hold the dead the wizard. Alright. So, the oh, wizard yeah. is going to make a con save. Or wait, no. Wisdom it's save. Which actually, she's way better at. Uh, 18? Is the spell save. Alright, so she would just make it. It's like, oh, you bastard. She gets ready to blast you. Anything else? Uh, no, that's everything I got. Alright, the soldier goes. He's gonna come at you. Uh, using... He's booming blade till your turn, right? Yeah. So yeah, he'll stay there. Uh, oh, actually... No, I don't think... I think he did use second wind already. And action surge, so... Uh, he's gonna longsword attack. Uh, 19... Uh, I will shield. Alright. You react with a shield spell. He says bloody magic as he swings a second time. <laughs> uh, which completely misses as you kind of dodge to the side. Uh... That is it for him. Nathaniel goes. He's like, oh. Wow, this isn't going great. Uh, as he gets up, dusting himself off, uh, he's gonna look around. See. I'm soaring through the sky. Yeah, seeing and... you like flying after someone blasting, but I think he's gonna. He's gonna use Healing Word. Uh, channeling healing energy into Sira. 
you see. Mm, he says, uh, good God, man, put yourself out. You're on fire. As he, uh, <laughs> he uses some magic here. So Cecira, healing energies will uh, coalesce around you and you regain six. No longer on the brink. Uh, other than that... Yeah, we'll set Leo heals Nasara. Yeah, it's like, uh, put yourself out, man. Jesus. Uh, and then he's going to go five... Oh, actually, he's worried about that wizard blasting him, so he's going to just move here. He's trying to stay back from the edge for now. Uh, the Conjuration... Oh, there's a person there still? Where? Oh, I thought you were... Oh, the, this wizard. Sorry, right. I thought you were saying he was worried about an opportunity attack. No, no, he's worried about the wizard blow blasting him. He's that's pretty... Good. pretty. Uh, oh, and he's not prone anymore. Uh, okay, so the Conjuration wizard is gonna resist your spell, keep running. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... Get to here. The rocks are in the way, so she can't jump them just yet. But she's going to turn around, uh, chanting, casting Arcane Burst up towards Nathaniel. Uh, Nathaniel. Or not Nathaniel, sorry. Uh, towards <laughs> towards Anvir, who is flying around above him. So... How far away am I oh, from right now? Oh, actually... Uh, you're 40 feet up and she's. I don't know. All right. Well, that he's 40 here, feet I'll just blast you level. before I run down the stairs. Okay. Then, either way. Yeah. <laughs> so ranged blast. Uh, we'll nope. fly past you with the first. Eighteen. I think is my armor class. Let me check. That's what it says. Yeah, you're eighteen. Yeah, it is. All right, so that one clips your shoulder, exploding for 14 force, and a third one will miss you, uh, at which point she'll run down the stairs. Uh, let me do a d6 roll for something. Okay. LJ. Uh, I cannot move myself. The map is also moving when I move myself. What? I both. Uh, try clicking left and right mouse at the same time. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what point? Well, I'm going to kill you, Lord Funny. Can I kill Lord Funny now? Uh, well, since Roll 20 is involved in the uh, dice rolls, I'm not sure if that'll happen. Uh, Lord Funny just restarted itself. Okay. Oh, and uh, you would take. Five points of fire damage. We should probably put ourselves out. Ow. Uh, okay, where's where's the meme? Uh, this fine. is fine one. No, the other one that I use. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I know the one you mean. Yeah, the bow man. Okay. I'm gonna kill 20 today. By the end of the session, I'm gonna kill old 20. Give me a second, I'm opening on Google. If he wants to be better for me. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get the burning guy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Google Chrome. We look today. Ah, uh, Google Chrome. Shut down that from the beginning. I wonder if it'll work if I put it in the chat here. No, it uh, just posts the link. All right, go well, ahead. You have to put, you have to do uh, bracket, the word image, end bracket, open parenthesis, then your URL, and then close parenthesis. Uh, it's so complicated. I know, right? <laughs> Brain macros. What is um, this hacker shit? I love how Miri just knows this off the top of her head as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Both of us, us do. I just didn't care to mention it. Alright, oh, well... I didn't forget. Oh, well, that didn't work. I was trying to write it for you, but it... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you back in, LJ? 
I am. I will run 30 feet up to here. Okay. And since I cannot really do anything, even if I dash, that would just be a death sentence. I am going to hand Nasira a potion of greater healing that I will make. Alright, so you item interaction, uh, pull it out. She'll have to grab it for you as, from you as her item interaction. Unless you, well, I guess you could. How would that work? I guess if she wants to use her reaction, she can grab it from you on uh, just, your turn. Because she's, she's next in the turn order, because he, but he just placed it on the ground for her and then. He could do that. He could just hold it there, and she could grab it on her turn. Either way, it would just be it would be either a reaction or a he, uh, item well, interaction. Well, he might not be planning on standing there and staying there. I don't know. Yeah. So if he's planning to keep moving, then he would probably want to just place it on the ground and keep running. Or you, like I said, you can use a reaction right now to grab it. I just place it on the ground and use an action dash to run thirty feet that way. All right. Uh, okay, Sira. Um, I think I'm gonna. Reaction to put yourself Oh yeah, you're still burning. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good All right. Well, let me see. I think I'm gonna. What's my speed? Um. You don't pick up my potion, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> um I'm sorry. Um reading through my stuff. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. Oh, okay. Let me spell. All right. I kind of don't want to let her run away, but she's running away, and we're not in great shape. So, um, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll pick up the potion. Can I put it in my belt? As is that item interaction, Lou, to pick it up and put it in my belt? Uh, so picking it up would be one, and yeah, she ba basically like sheathing it would be the the uh equivalent of a um, yeah another item interaction which would be your action or you just okay. keep it in your hand for now um cuz you uh it's not like you need your hands for weapons or anything yeah all right i guess i will um i'm sorry guys um i will just uh it's fine, I took ages on my turn too. I'm actually not gonna pick up the potion. I'm gonna draw my boomerang and um send it at her. Alright, so you would move to the edge here to see her and make a boomerang attack. Yeah, and I'm just looking at the range. It's sixty, so uh I would move Oh, oh actually you might have to go down the stairs a little. Well, I've got 45 feet of movement, so how far do I need to go to be able to hit her with a boomerang? Probably have to go to about here. Okay. All right, so 15 feet of movement, and then I'll swing the boomerang at her and just give it a try to see if we can finish her off. Um, All right. Uh, yeah, 27 is going to hit her. Well, does she have shield? Mm -hmm. I don't think she does. I'll move her five feet towards me. Well, if she... Let's see. Yeah, oh, there's no shield I mean, on that. No, Even she doesn't have shield. shield. 27. Uh, Alright, so she is struck in the back of the head with the boomerang. And Goes I'll down. go ahead and... Oh, she's down. Perfect. Alright. Um, then I'll move back this way. That would be 20, 25. Is this difficult terrain? The big rock, yeah. 35, 45. So well, moving, it would just be five feet to hop up on it. Then moving across right, it and so jumping down is fine. Okay, so I could get to here without dashing. And I do have another attack. So let me just see if I can swing that boomerang around Eldwin. <laughs> this bitch has another fucking boomerang. 
Does the boomerang come back to you on the same turn? Uh, great question. Um, I, I feel don't like know it would... that it had any description. Here, <laughs> let, let, me, let me take a look at boomerang, yeah. just because no one else uses it. I just picked it to do I, something I different. It does, because I'm pretty sure you can get a boomerang of returning. Uh, what book is boomerang from? I'm not on even seeing it. Miss, it returned to you. Oh, on a miss. Okay. Only if you miss, it comes back to you. Right so, now, it's at her feet. It's at. That her would make feet. sense because when a boomerang hits oh. something, it doesn't generally well, come back. Well, shit! I need to. I need to retcon my range you weapon might, then. Oh. You might need a few boomerangs. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Okay. I had. I. Yeah, I would have picked a sling if I had known that. Um, because I needed bludgeoning. I specifically needed bludgeoning. Um. All right, well, shit, then I guess I don't get to make my second attack. Well, actually, I think I can use... I'm sorry, I'm still learning her stuff, but I think there's a way I can use one of my attacks to heal. Um, and I think it's... It's your heal... It, yeah, I know what you mean. It's your hand of mercy. Or that. Alright. No, 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 wait. No, I'm so, hold, no. On, hold on, hold on, please, please, sorry. I'm, I'm just learning my, because I've got a bunch of different healing abilities. Oh, so wait, I, I know the thing you're talking about. It's not an attack, it's one of your flurry of blows. And this one is, well, there's, I've got like three different key based heals. So, so that would be, uh, yeah. Remember to differentiate them. And that one's an action. Yes. Um, and then. When you use your flurry of blows, you can replace one of the unarmed strikes with a use of this feature. So that's that's fine. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I knew there was one I could replace an attack with, but it, that doesn't apply here. So yeah, I think um, that's just she's just going to end her turn. All right, Eldwin. Sorry, guys. Monks are kind of complex to get used to them, and I have not played them. Uh, all right. I played them a little bit. That's the only reason I know. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, she, that's not even all of her healing abilities. She's got like several more. <laughs> Most of them aren't very big. Most are, of them you, aren't big uh, deals, but, are, yeah. are you there, Eldwin? Sorry, yeah, I'm here. Okay. What's the um symbol on the fight I go? Uh, he's booming bladed, which it would go okay. away now. Uh, might be back. Cause, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll take uh, two stabs at him now. Ah, uh, first oh. one booming. Okay. Oh. Uh, 20 will strike him. Doing another 15. Ah. And uh, 20 will stab a second time. Uh, doing another oh. 10, right? Yeah, I don't know why I did Which that. Before, okay. would That's wound weird. him. Oh, that oh, for you. Weird. Uh, I'm actually going to. Uh, I'm actually going to risk an oppy and take, and actually take just take a step back. Uh, all right. So he will attempt to hit you. Uh, Thirteen will not be enough, and you dodge back successfully. Uh, anything you else? Have advantage. Uh, that'll be my turn. Alright, Anvir. Uh, I shall you shall take, take damage. eight points of fire damage. Oh. Oh. Ow. Where's where's my where's my meme image? You're just flying around on fire. I use my action to put myself out, because I'm gonna die on the way. Only yeah, adventurers fine. would run around for like 50 seconds while on fire without doing anything. I would. Alright. What, in real life? No, you wouldn't. He's from Alabama. What do you mean? Most people would yeah. stop, drop, and roll right away. Yeah, I'm from Alabama. What adventurers like, oh, I'm fine. This, this is fine. Alright, so you oh. uh, pat yourself down yeah. as you start flying over there. Um... Yeah, that might be it. Alright. Uh, the soldier goes. He is gonna pull a javelin off his back. What the fuck did he get back? 
or oh, he's, he's always black. had javelins. Yeah, <laughs> most most smart uh, melee people have ranged options. Oh, so as you're backing away, LJ. right in the chest, LJ just throws. I don't know his shield, maybe. Uh, so fifteen points of damage as a uh, javelin smacks into you, stabbing. Luckily, your armor. Do you have armor? Yeah, I think you have armor. Your armor would catch most of it. LJ is just Captain America in disguise. <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, I should have made that. Did you take the 15? I uh, thought... Hold on. Doing quick math. Uh, that's... Not for 10, it was for 20. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hell, but that goes. Plus two, plus four. Minus one, Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so that's it for him. Nathaniel is going to come over this way. D5, the edge of the rock there. And... That looks scary. Actually, wait. I just realized. Uh, that would only be 11, because technically he had disadvantage on that. Why would he have disadvantage? Splice a cloak. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you gotta mark yourself as being... Yeah, I, I think... I keep forgetting to do that whenever we get the token. Because I don't know if you've never turned on or not. <clears throat> so I, I, I might say that you did not have it turned on... So I don't really want to go. Oh, fine, just take 11 and turn on your GD cloak. <laughs> uh, Alright, so Nathaniel, I think he's going to heal. Wow. So he does a healing word. Uh, doing 7 points of healing to Sisera. Oh. Okay, thank you. I, I assumed he was healing himself because this is he, pretty well, he assumes you're going in, whereas he is not. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, he is so badly wounded <laughs> still. It's like, I'm not going over there. You go over there. <laughs> All right. The wizard is down. LJ. You're on fire. So take six. Cool. Now let's see if I got this looking right. Nope. I have one of I tried. That's fine. Uh, that slips, so I am 29. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, movements. I know how to move. Uh, yeah, I'm Most just gonna... human sentence ever. Movement. I know how to move. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, I'm going to move, and um, for the first time ever, uh, take myself off. Take off on fire. Alright, so use your action to put yourself out, stopping the pain. Anything else? <laughs> Sad or not. I, no one. <laughs> Stop yeah. the pain. Alright, so Sira. Um... I'm just going to mark you. Oh, actually, no, you're not blurry right now because you got hit, right? Yeah, it's off right now. Okay. I always forget how that works. All right, I'm, she's going to move up uh, to about here. Nah, I, I'll play it safe. I, I'll move up, but I will stay out of his range for now, and I will pull out some salve and some bandages and patch myself up. All right. Uh, Eldwin. So is it the right. beginning or end of your turn that the booming goes away? I think it's the beginning, right? It's, a, it's the beginning, yeah. Okay. And this would uh, also well, come back. So you get blurry again. It's like, ah, god damn it. Where is he? And I'll rush back in. It's like, okay, that didn't work how I think it was going to do it. Damn it, I know I need a glasses. <laughs> Oh, he was All not right. going to blow himself up to follow you. Uh, I forgot that he had javelins. So I was like, <laughs> the only melee. But, yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
Gonna do the same thing again, because I don't want to... Yeah. Alright, yeah, 20 is gonna hit him. He's like, ah! You stab him again, doing another 16. Ugh. Uh, 18 will just hit. 11. I'm doing another 11, putting him to near death. Ugh. And booming again. Anything else? Uh, that'll be my turn. He doesn't currently have a weapon drawn, by the way. Because he had to throw his uh, thing. So you could technically try to back up again. All you get to do is punch you. Oh, okay, I see. So yeah, I'll do that again then. Alright, he, he will... He does. Oh, he probably does, but like... Oh, does he have more javelins? Not in his hand, though. Oh, uh, he has so... more javelins, I'll stay there. Okay. So, Onvir. What you uh... gonna do, big gun boy? I'm gonna move my happy little butt over here. Alright, you're flying uh, through the air. I think he's a bit far away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't be within 60 feet of me, would he? Uh, not with 40 feet up, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I will. Do I have anything with enough range to hit him? It'd be nice if they had like an altitude distance calculator. Do try do It'd do trigonometry good. for me. Yeah. <laughs> Set uh, altitude. That would be a pain, but might be might be nice. Yeah, screw it. I'll do a. I'm gonna do a th guiding bolt third level. Because I don't have a lot of spell slots left. Okay, so you go blasting. Uh, guiding bolt eighteen. Will you ignore cover? Would he have cover? Because I'm aiming downwards. He would. You'd have plus one, but he'd have plus two cover because he has uh. Eldwin in front of him. Oh, I didn't realize that. I figured I would be ignoring the color. Uh. Yeah, I guess that's fine then. Alright, so that would just miss him, unfortunately, unless yeah. you got something that buffs your attack. I do not believe so. Alright. So, it just sort of uh, blasts. It would actually blast Eldwin. But I think his AC... Oh, actually. What is your AC, Eldwin? Uh, right now it is 16. So yeah, you would get blasted by uh, that, unless you have like a shield or something. Because uh, he rolled over your AC. Coming. Uh, you would hear it coming at you. You could still uh, react. AC only that? <laughs> I haven't used my blade song, because I thought... <laughs> He thought Otherwise, there would be a golem fight later, so I think he's been saving it. Which at this point, I don't know, everyone... This, this battle is taxing. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, what, are you gonna... Are you gonna uh, if shield? I know that... If I know that it's coming, I'll shield it. Just uh, over and be it. Yell, oh shit! Yeah, you turn around and quickly... Throw your hand up, blocking the uh, attack. My bad. Nicely gives you the AC bonus for the rest of the turn anyway, so that's good. Because uh, he, once again, Wreath and Lightning, is going to go for you. Uh, drawing his sword as a, an item interaction, he's going to swing twice. Which, uh, luckily, the shield stops the first one and you dodge the second one. Uh, Nathaniel... I don't know. He's having a rough day. He might just kind of stay at the back, um, take the dodge action. LJ. Oh, cool. So fun. Um, I am going to run forward and. Oh, LJ is time. going in there. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And for the first oh, time. Finally. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Can I? Uh, running through the, the trees there would be difficult terrain, so maybe next turn you can get back there. I don't know how much movement you have. I have 10 more feet left. left. My, if I get right here, am, do I have um, flank? Or... No, you have to be up here. I will stay here then and tap twice. All right. So you stab at him. Uh, 21 will strike the first time. Ah, for 12. Uh, and 21 will strike the second time. Ow. And he goes down. Uh, and then oh, just my kill. Uh, what do you all want it's to like do? Things are loosely hit that guy to lap that point. Things are finally quiet. Everyone, uh, well, several of you are feeling it. I say, loot and short rest. <laughs> I just turn, like, I just turn her back around and see everyone, like, being everything's like. What happened? I thought you said you were fine. Magic and fire. Uh, ah. Yes. The tide turned quickly. <laughs> so it would seem. As uh, I'm, I'm talking to, to the Nathaniel. Alright, so you're going to try to rest here? Like, search them and take a rest? I think we will start... Where did we rest last time? Because Onavia totally knows this, but we don't... Uh, the last time that we took a rest would have been... Uh, no, like last in... time we finished here. Uh, in the... I think you rested uh, down below, room. yeah, in the golem chamber. Do we want to... Here's the thing, though. Things might be in the golem chamber. I... Well, if there was someone in there, they didn't come out when the fighting started. So either they didn't hear you or there's no one there. Unless the golem's in there, but, you know. Let's... Start. Do we, do we want to quickly loot these guys and then at least head into the tunnel, get some cover, and then yes, put up the hut or something? Agreed. All right. So if you're looking at these guys to search them, uh, they have on. their no. You it, it's not. You don't need to roll for it. Uh, they have their normal armaments, so a couple of shields, a uh, long sword, decent condition weaponry. Uh, I think the fighter has chainmail. Let me double check. We don't have anyone with detect magic anymore, do we? Uh, I don't think so. I think I do. Has it. But it, I mean, uh, I have it, yeah, but... I so, do, but it, I'd have to ritually cast it. How many of them have shields? Uh, yeah, but... Two of them, the gladiator and the battle master. Is the spell ritual? Uh, not spells. It's long. Uh, detect, yeah. Detect is, yeah. I don't have detect. I thought I had detect. Uh, if you don't care about their armaments, they would have a total of 35 gold pieces on them. The wizard would have... Uh, he would have... Uh, 70 gold pieces worth of arcane components and what looks like three small diamonds. Ooh. Probably worth I mean, about 100 gold pieces each. Not sure why he has those. Uh, I Yo. use those. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm no. not actually yoinking those. I was just saying. So from that. everyone... Is that everything from everyone that mentioned? Like, uh, yeah, I don't think. Well, I'm assuming you're not taking the armaments unless you have room someplace for them, because they are a lot heavier. I, I mean, mean, we have, have the bag. We just don't know when it's going to stop being the bag. Yeah, huh. if I check and it's over 500, that thing's breaking. <clears throat> not saying no, one of them. If I if I audit <laughs> you. If I, uh... No, uh, because we've been dumping stuff in the ship, preparing for when it won't work anymore. You get a bag yeah. of holding on it. Yeah, in fact, I think we have... I think we came out with it pretty much empty. Yeah, okay. it's pretty much empty mission. now. So, yeah, maybe you want to take it. I don't know. Uh, we've been specifically preparing oh, for the fact that... Oh, um, you... Sorry, real quick. You, uh... 
You would also know there's essence on the dead fire elemental if anyone wants to try to get that. Oh, and the monk. I forgot all about the monk. The monk actually has some stuff too. Uh, the monk would have his darts or her darts. She would have another 20 gold pieces. And she has two potions that she has not used. Uh, both of them are labeled as healing. I don't know if you want to trust that. So is that everything? So what are we taking? Uh, I think I'm going to take the diamonds now. <laughs> yes, I am taking those diamonds because three diamonds. I can use those to bring I'll take the dark. back from the since dead. I've just, since I've discovered that my boomerang doesn't return to me, I'll take the dark. <laughs> I'll take the gold. Uh, if you want, you can say you have a couple of boomerangs. Okay. You could say you have like, I mean, I, I assume they weren't that expensive, right? They're not. So, I yeah, don't you could how just. Much they were, but they're pretty mundane. Yeah. You just minus the gold and say you had bought a couple. Perfect. Thank you. I will Perfect. take the gold. Oh, okay. Just dump the rest in the in the bag. So that's also don't forget fifty-five don't forget the, uh, GP. Yeah. Don't forget the um. The potion of greater healing, uh, LJ, I'll, I'll pick it up from the ground where you left it and give it back to you. Uh, okay, I will add that back. Yeah, they're five gold each for a boom. <laughs> right. Yeah, I just subtracted it. So I'll say about ten minutes have passed with you all. Was someone getting or trying to get the essence from the elemental? Uh, I'd be trying to... Actually, all right. before I say that, let me make sure I have <laughs> a vial for it. Yeah, it's Arcana or Alchemy, same as usual. I don't think uh, I have a while, have, actually. Uh, if I've been keeping it up, we have two days left before the bag disappears. Do we have any empty vials anywhere? Uh, I do. Uh, Non-empty vials, but they're at the ship. So if someone has them on their person, then no. I do. All right. Cool. There we go. So Cecira, I'm giving one of them over. I'll one, yeah. So Cecira also, I... offers you a vial, and I will, I will uh, get the... the elemental essence. Arcana, will... I'm guessing. Yeah, Arcana. I will put the two potions labeled healing inside the bag. Okay. So you take the two healing potions. Uh, you managed to get 40 GP worth of fire elemental essence. CR5 creature. Alright. Okay. Do you hear that for me? Yeah. So, CR5, how much of GP? 40. 40. Uh, fire elemental. All right, so yeah, about right. 10 minutes have passed. What do you all want to do? And I did um, heal Nathaniel. Um, he wasn't in my macro yet, so the one that says player 6, uh, 14. All right, so he thanks you. Says, oh, I that's mean, a new you'll... trick. I just walk past, and I'm like, I mean, if you're passing those about, you see, Onmir is kind of like limping now that he's on the ground. <laughs> Okay, well, Nasira will motion to the bandage. That's you know, on you arm. really should fly around <laughs> while you're on fire. That's uh, not the smartest thing to do. To be fair, only second time, I, I think second or third time flying, first time being on fire. Oh, something so to keep in mind. Where, on where, up above where Leo posted the items, I had already healed you for 18, and I also oh, healed I L LJ for 18. Yeah, I got that. Uh, how much is the essence of the weight? Uh, it's weightless. You don't have to worry about it. Cool. Basically, it's just the weight of the vial. It's basically Which just don't weigh powders. Anything, yeah. yeah. Essences, powder, residue from whatever it is you took down. Alright, so what are you going to do? Find a safe place to rest, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we... Uh, why why are those guys trying to kill you all so uh so vehemently? I'm not sure. Well the first time we met them we tried to be very cordial with them. 
I mean, I guess we did attack these guys, so I understand why they uh, they were mad, but I feel like... Well, yeah. uh, there was no, like, from our side, there was no original hostility. When we, Funnily enough, this was the very room we first met them in, and we tried to be nice, and they just attacked us. Oh. They're uh, more, they're, they're better trained than most mercenaries I've encountered. So, might want to learn more about this uh, Steel Shadow. We know a little bit about them. We know um, one of our friends back in Candleholm used to be a member, I believe. Hmm. He starts writing in this book. Interesting. So, well, I don't feel all that great thanks to uh, the fire elemental exploding me while I was counterspelling the wizard flying away. But uh, I think with a rest, I can at least uh, get some of my stamina back. Uh, tens of some of these wounds. All right, let's find a place to sit down. There's like a long corridor before the room of the golem, right? Not long, but... Uh... No, it's, I mean, there's the down, there's the area down there that's like a little balcony, but then it pretty much just goes right into the chamber. Okay, I, I, I must, I thought it was longer than that. Um, well, do we just want to, like, uh, sit up in the trees somewhere, like over here, just set up the hut under the trees? This is, uh, um, hiding... I remember or go ahead. If I remember correctly, we set a bunch of these trees on fire last time we were in here. <laughs> well, that was these ones. Yeah, they're okay. still marked. The ones that are pretty okay. much all burned. No, 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 no. Oh, are point. they marked? That, that was from the fire elemental. We're talking about the first time we were here, and Val dropped yeah. the Molotov down here. Yeah, yeah. Right down there. <laughs> both. I think. I think both of these sets were on fire, but I don't. Maybe it was a, definitely right. at least the southern one. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh. So yeah, I don't know if they still offer any cover, but yeah, we could go over in the corner down here, or maybe. I mean, they were dry woods; so they're probably here. old shard at this point. Yeah, yeah I, I was talking about well, like up here, or yeah, or well, like in that little corner up here. That works. But there is also a dead body up in that little corner there. So, actually, can we after we loot them? Can we just all dra can we just drag them and dump them in this little Drop hole them down the hell? hole in the, in the well? <laughs> in the old dried up well, sure. Dump the bodies. Hide the bodies. Hide the bodies. Uh, I will take the bodies one by one, having the highest rank. Just pew, 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 pew. All right. It's a decent fall down that well, so you probably hear some cracking as uh, the bodies hit the stones below. Ooh, if they weren't dead before. I have no reaction we when I hear somewhere. the bones cracking. <laughs> On the of flinches very hard. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As well, not. that's that. Well, rest. Sleep. Now, did you have Val in the background with you, or was he back at the ship? I don't remember. I think, I think he, he was, was in, the, in back the background. Yeah, I think he came out on the mission with us before he left, but... Yeah, now that, yeah. now that he is a true NPC, I might be more comfortable playing him rather than... Uh, Nathaniel. Playing Nathaniel. Both times, I... though, another person down the hole. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Although I'm pretty, someone was saying I'm pretty sure that Gray was saying he probably won't come back as Nathaniel. Well, I mean, well, that's... he didn't have time to create a character, so he might swap Nathaniel out. But I don't know that it'll be immediately his next yeah. session. Yeah. 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 So I'll put Val into your hirelings thing. I'll say Nathaniel is now in the background. Yep. Yep. Biddle's looking at Nathaniel and all of a sudden he just swaps out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the fuck was that? Wizards. <laughs> oh, he's, he's still there. Oh, I guess he's a bard, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just being a dick. <laughs> It's like, uh, you know, when something is just in your peripheral vision, you don't exactly see it, but you know it's there. So we put the <laughs> hut up here? Uh, I was thinking yeah. down here, where I am. Oh, uh, okay. Because there's a lot more obvious signs of battle up there. <laughs> Who is casting the hut? That would be me. Okay. 
while I'm casting it, can I like specifically try and make it the same kind of color as the ground so it blends in more? <laughs> I, mean, I think it even says in the spell. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it it's pretty obvious um if you're nearby, but if you see it from a distance, it would it might be uh easy to miss cuz yeah, yeah it, it does look unnatural. Black. <laughs> yeah. But no, you can pick the colors. You can make it match. Yeah. Uh all right, attempting to pass 10 minutes to hut. If anyone's doing anything, let me know or I will make the roll. All right, 10 minutes will pass. Your hut activates. Now I assume you're going to try to pass an hour within the hut. Yes. Yep. Get in the hut, Elblin. I'm trying to, uh, but I keep moving the hut. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I keep moving the hut instead of my character. Oh, uh, everyone group up. I'll move the hut quickly. Alright, is that where you want the hut? Yeah. I'm just trying to let Elder there you move go. because he's kind of stuck under the radius of it. Uh, he should be able right. to move himself. There we go. Oh, you've moved it to the background now. Sweet. I just made it untargetable by you all. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, I probably should do, like, personalized spell effects that only you can target, but... In any case... Uh, so you are attempting to pass some time in the hut. I'm not sure if anyone's doing anything. Uh, I will say that during the one hour, Andrea knows uh, something about LJ. Yeah, I think... Yeah, you were kind of telling me this before. So yeah. What, what kind of elf are you? If you don't mind me asking. You just give uh, up. I can't quite tell. Uh, he bites a little cig up and they ask, uh, before or after? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> before or after? You're going to need to give me a lot more explanation. Before the war or after the war? How did that change your species? Uh, which magic bullshit? Okay, that's so about as good an explanation as any. So, back to my main question. Before or after? I just asked, before? Shit, let me go with my Word document. See if I <laughs> they wrote it down. I should have wrote it down. Val would uh -huh. say, uh, one does not usually just change their species, my friend. Did something I mean, happen of, like, to you? Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like I've heard of ridiculous high-level magic that can do things like that, but, like... At the time of my birth, until the end of the war, I was a high elf, my friend. Did it change you somehow? Becoming a different type of elf? Was there magic involved? That is a strange explanation. After the war, after the curse, I am not human nor elf. I'm a, what we call a variant, a mix between both races. Did something happen in the war to do this to you? Not the war itself, but that's the closest of population that I can do in a timeline. As you are... you seem needlessly, uh, vague, my friend. We are friends. You can tell us. It's a dark spot for both me, my husband, and the person who did it. Hmm, I see. And he, uh, Val just kind of shrugs and looks over at Anvir. I mean, he obviously isn't comfortable talking about it yet. Not yet. How long ago did this happen? Give me a second, I'm pulling my dark. No. Memorize it all. <laughs> no, I'm not going to memorize the most 
200, almost 500 year timeline. Uh, basically the entire 13 cycle so far. That's Google Sheets, not Google Docs. Val just shrugs. He says, well, I was just curious. You do seem like an odd fellow. I mean... What year is it? What year is it? Uh, it should yeah. be on the calendar there. Uh, 532, 13th cycle. 31st. I believe he's asking that in character. He's just like, oh, oh, no. oh. No, what year is this? No, I'm joking. Both. I'm safe though. Uh, that was about... Add carry the one, minus the zero. Uh, about 10 years ago? Maybe five? I don't know. I don't keep real talk of time that we're old. Time, who needs it? Val just kind of yeah. sits back and. Does he have a pipe? I was going to say he smokes his pipe. For some reason, I picture him smoking a pipe. <laughs> well, if he didn't, he well, just ran away from him now. He pulls one out, <laughs> stuffs in Can some he have pipe, like a pipe weed. Of the smoke monsters? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I love that idea. LJ has a classic Cuban uh, cigar. <laughs> All right, so an hour would pass quietly. Luckily, there are no issues. It is now 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, go ahead and spend a short rest if you wish. Uh, shit, I don't have a hand eye, but I will spend my short rest. Uh, we do have some healing potions. Perhaps the monk's healing potions that we found would prove useful to you, my friend. I'm just going to take the bread to heal, and then I try to give him the syrup, get back to me, and just pop it down. As you're doing that, he says, wait, my friend, the, the greater healing potions are way more valuable in combat because of the high amounts they heal. We are not as pressed for time now, so you should use the smaller ones. You, you said you're out of hit die? Oh, yeah. Have we even taken a short rest since our last? We've taken one. You used all your hit die? Wow. No. I thought we took two shield rests. This is the second one. I believe. Oh, shit. I, I, I may have more hit die then. Quick question. Do we benefit from Nathaniel's Song of Rest? Uh, I'm going to say no. You can use them for skill checks, but not for, like, that sort of thing. It was worth a shot. <laughs> then everyone just always roll. has a bard in the background. Oh god, I'm rolling terrible on these hit dice, man. Yeah, I might have more hit dice than I actually did, but, um, doesn't matter. Not going to go try to figure out. Man, these rolls, one, one, seven, one, five, four. Alright, well, what do you want to do? Or I guess you're still rolling your hit dice. Does Val need to rest? No, Val's not too bad. Hey, I'm not mad. Uh, it says here I apparently have one harness divine power left, so I'm gonna do that quickly. I got a second level spell slot. Alright, you channel your divine energies, refueling some of your magic. And Eldwin apparently does the same thing. To the golem room? Are we uh, yeah. are we still uh, able to fight him today? I mean, uh, I'm I'm pretty low on my low level stuff, but I purposely tried to save a fair amount of my high level things. I, I can. Great. I just have a sword. I hit people hard. I feel great. After that rest, I'm only a little bit up. Yeah, yeah. I got most of my stamina back. Actually, all of it, I felt kind of, kind of, kind of good at the moment. Yeah, I'm, after the rest, I'm pretty much just missing uh, a level in each. It's a lot worse for me, because I don't get that many spell slots back, but... True, yeah. But you said you were trying to save yours. Oh, yeah, like, out of character I was, talk. I, I, have, out I still have that. a fifth, all of my fourths, a third. 
I started out the out combat. Out of character, I have mm. all my shit. I started out the combat being kind of cautious, and then I remembered that the monk gets her key back on the short rest, so... Yeah, yeah. I think we're the two that benefit from short rest. I get my stuff back on short rest. Most of it, anyway. And you get most of yours. Anyway. Uh, so, oh. were you still drinking the potion, or the greater potion, or... Uh, I don't yeah. think so. After, uh, it depends. Uh, yeah. I probably need more hit points to go into this fight if we go into a fight. So, are you going to use the little ones like he, like Val suggested? I don't even have little ones, so. Well, actually, we I, we, we actually, since we just took the rest, I can heal you again. Well, to be fair, it's labeled healing, it's not actual healing. Or, oh. No, I also just it. thought of something. While we're sat here thinking of a plan, could you originally right, so you would gain the 14. magic? And we can look at those weapons to see if there's anything really worth keeping. Uh, yeah, I can do that if we want. If you're okay just sitting around a little bit longer. Right. I mean, I don't think an extra 10 minutes will kill us. Since you're necessarily here, man, I'm not going to use this so I will originally cast detect magic, see if anything's from them so uh, magical that we missed. The potions are magical, but the weaponry is not. None of their stuff was magic. But... Dump it all. You only dump it all into the bag of holding? No, no dump it out dump into it the out. bag of holding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll leave all the mundane crap then. The only thing I put in it was the essence and the potions labeled healing. Uh, so well, we said we said we pushed everything in so that we could look at it during our. Rest, That's fine. So. Just don't change anything then. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're good since they're not magical. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh head into the belly of the beast, as it were. Okay. Now, what is this golem you think talking about? Giant made of metal. <laughs> Guarding fucking... lots of chests. Fucking magic. Honestly, I'm inclined to agree with you on that one. Uh, we also have the unknown area beyond. I guess, uh, yes. what do we wish to look into uh, first? The golem is safe golem, and yeah. secured, but uh, I suppose both are. So, either way. The golem has some known treasure, so that might be the better option. What is that with yell and treasure? Out of it's the unknown versus the known. I don't care if I say that with how much I've been through. Now, you all told me uh, a bit about your town and why you are all here. I'm guessing at this point you've uh, maybe unintentionally done what you've come to do, which was drive out these uh, horrible cultists. Do you plan to head back after this? Yes, that is the plan. This is just one last day of quick scouting for additional things than heading home. I believe we've you. already, uh, I believe Dovshows and uh, Uvla are already starting to uh, ferry people towards the temple we originally came through. I think that was the plan. Yeah, that's what we, the instructions we left them with, yeah. He nods. Maybe yeah. we find clues on why the Steel Shao is so invested in this place. He nods. I mean, we have one theory. About yeah, them. but they sought the girl, did they not? Yeah, that's that's one theory. Well, that did not are... seem to be their only objective. They had her, but they were doing lots of other things too. Yeah, so... though, they were enslaving all the gnolls by the looks of it. I'm curious. Uh, uh, you don't think they were enslaving them? You think they were just well, killing them? Capturing. Some of them oh, they really? captured, but for the most part, they were yeah. just killing them off. Okay, fair enough. Like. Do you fair, capturing and killing uh, people is kind of their thing. <laughs> yeah. And it's tragically both mean the end of a life. Maybe not fully, but at least the one you knew. Uh, well, it is a brutal existence we live in these dark caverns. When Onvia passes me, I'm going to whisper into his ear and say, Can you do me a favor and help me bury my husband when we get back? It's a mess. Help you with what did you say, Saki? 
basically he asks, uh, can you help him bury his husband as both A, a cleric, and B, husband? Uh, I guess. All right. Sure. So, so you move through this area uh, back into the area beyond the temple here, which some of you might still see corpses that I don't see. <laughs> oh, no that's idea. right. Do I? Do I? Uh, no. Oh, I don't no. know. I don't see anything in here. So. Yep. I see Barrett. Oh, the... <laughs> yeah, whatever is wrong with you guys, this thing. Uh, well, uh, you can go ahead and drag yourselves onto the map there. Uh, I can't see the map. Yeah, it's all black. Yeah. Oh, really? Weird. Which is weird okay. Oh, because you have new characters, that's why. All right. well, I don't. One doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> then I'm, I'm not, not sure. Not either. Yeah. All right, hang on, I'll grab you. There we go. Now I see it. Oh god, it seems so far out, which probably didn't help. So the area seems to still be mostly abandoned. Uh, you would still see the fiery uh, molten floor over here. So that hasn't really gone right. away. Uh, the secret door seems to be closed. At least the one on the northwest area. Any notable, like, changes from uh, when we were last here, like, with the door or anything? Like, does it look like anything else has opened up? Uh, you don't think so. Okay. Was the door down south still look closed? Still looking, still uh, closed. yeah, I think you closed that one. It was broken. Yeah, the, yeah, it the was golem, broken. like, smashed it. It's a cave-in that we had to crawl through. Oh, right, yeah. right, yeah. And then... So oh, it's no, still the broken. It doesn't work out, but like, okay. I held it... <laughs> Barrett held it up for most of them, and they pulled out. Yeah, they so it seems Eldrin. like it's still closed down there. Eldrin teleported Barrett out. Okay, so what do we remember about this thing? Uh, lots of poison. Where the yeah. fuck are you find someone with poison? Oh, this is the Iron Golem still. Why? The golem had a poison breath attack, and the room, room itself filled, filled Don't with poison. Go into the room. Why the fuck? We are fighting a a iron golem with poison. And you didn't take any of its stuff, right? Uh, no. we grabbed. We uh, grabbed some items. No, the, uh, <laughs> I thought yeah. I thought you just opened the chest, which is why the I got guard pissed that off. Was with us, grabbed a suit of armor before he teleported out. Like, that was the only thing we got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Alex no got armor. A suit of armor, and we never even got to look at it. Uh, yeah, I think it's. Now he ran away with it. He's he was the only one that could use it anyway. <laughs> well, uh, him yeah. and Otto. True. But then Otto's uh, Otto. So, one idea I have, and I don't know how well it will work, but, uh... Are you like, still wounded, LJ? Yes, I am wounded. Am I the one to have? Where's my special control? Oh, no, um, I'm not wounded. Looks tired, also, but not wounded. Yeah. I also seem to remember fire being a bad idea. I can't remember if that's true or not. Uh, fire generally is bad against uh, golems, especially iron golems. They tend to uh, heal off of those. Why the hell look the fucking magic? Noted. Don't use the fire thing. What the fuck? Um, like, they're, like they're also usually um, golems are usually res at most resistant, but uh, but usually they're they're immune to psychic as well, due to you know not actually being. 
Oh, Most of them are not sentient. Yeah, that actually uh, makes sense. Okay. Is there anything we want to do before we get in the fight? Do we want to... Um, if, we, if we don't want to enter the room, from what you're describing, it sounds like uh, we need to f- determine some way to draw him out of the room. I could possibly... Attack the hell out of him. I could possibly... Uh, start moving chess out of the room without ever actually. I think he'll still get mad about that. Probably, well, that's but the point though, we want him to come out and come at us, right? Here's a potential thought. I could put up the hut because that kind of worked really well last time. The hut did keep him off for a while. Uh, yeah, but it didn't let you participate. We're already a bit short. True, true, but. It wouldn't stop me from casting a concentration spell beforehand. Or well, how are you going to cast the? How are you going to ritual cast the hut if you are concentrating on another spell? Or after? No, like, sorry. What I meant to say is like, this couldn't stop me from doing some, like, affecting one of you inside the hut, and then you could. Oh, leave, I see. Yeah, you could off us, but that's fair. Yeah. Like I have spells that would benefit you guys without me leaving the hut and me staying in the hut would just confirm that they stay up well to be fair the only person depending on what spell you use fucking magic anyway would be me since i'm probably going to be the uh what my people call the tank yeah it's either going to be Depending on which spell I use, it will be you or Eldwin. I have two different ones. Well, I can pepper him with arrows, as I usually do. Yes. But, be... uh, honestly, uh, LJ, you, you don't look like you're in the best position to fight something like that hand-to-hand. Are you sure you can uh, stand against this thing with how tired you look? Well, I'm thinking I could yes. potentially... Have we uh, yes, have we Yes! I'm just thinking once we put the HUD up and start the fight, I could probably make him invisible to help him out. Uh, yeah, Are we, we sure? In, if, oh, God. If we step in and out of the hut on our turns, it could give us protection. But I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know. Here's what we can do. Now, I don't fully understand that cloak L1, but it does make you harder to hit. Uh, as and, long as I remain undamaged for a short period of time, yeah. What I could do, uh, what we could do is, I attune, I believe you call it, to this cloak. That would take like, like an hour. Wait, why the fuck is magic so complicated? Because you have to bind it to your soul, more or less. What the fuck? That might match it already more weird than it is. That's why you can't attune to make too many things. It's strange the so. I mean, shit, then you're right. That actually makes sense. That was a good point. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm fully prepared for that situation. That's why I'm saying we put, like, the HUD up before we. That's what uh, you would know, Eldwin, thinking about things. Because, uh. Might- Golems generally don't forget unless their masters, like, tell them something is no longer an enemy. But, anyway, we can, we always spend, like, an hour short resting. So, yeah, we could still apparently bind it to my soul, making my heavily on myself. With my, with my magic, I could give you a very similar effect, don't worry. What the f- Fucking magic! I can make you invisible. Fucking magic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just do your thing. Just tell me when to Okay. So we're so, setting the hut out here? I think so, because I don't think we're gonna have a chance to set it up in there. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. Um so I'll start casting my hut in this like area near the door. Do we wanna like include the tunnel so that we can like, escape out that way if we have to. So, yeah, I, I'll, I'll put it in, like, this area so we, like, blockade this 
tunnel as much as possible. <sighs> so only we can really only pass through this area effectively. Yeah. Uh, question, uh, Lou. Uh, yeah. With telekinesis, uh, can I? Would I be able to move something with telekinesis if I'm inside the hut? I don't think so. I don't think spells can pass through the hut. Here, I'll link it uh, also, the hut is not big enough to block the golem from getting out of there. I'll just let you know that. So a... it could probably just walk over the hut. It would slow it down, though. <laughs> yeah, it would probably be difficult terrain. Uh... Move through it freely. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. Uh, magical effects, yeah. So I'd have to be outside the dome to move any chests or anything. Based on that wording, would I still be able to concentrate on an effect if it's attached to a person when it leaves? Probably, because that's not casting a spell through. Yeah. I just wanted to double check that because that was part of the plan I wanted to confirm that would actually be feasible. Mm. I'm going to check something. Are we going to spend the rest of the session fighting how to kill this golem? Yeah. I no. do think uh, luring it out and then uh, closing the door behind it so that it doesn't... The, or no, the uh, the poison doesn't go out past the door. Uh, oh, not very far, anyway. Not, not far. far. I'm actually like thinking feet. maybe I should place the hut closer to the mechanism so whoever's doing the mechanism isn't just like, oh yeah, shit, I've got to do an open stretch run. I mean, the golem's not that fast. Yeah, but... If that person goes last, I yeah. guess so. To be fair, I'm pretty sure Val back there it can uh speedy boy. From what I remember seeing. Oh, that's a good plan, Val. What do you want to do? Because archery is probably not going to be the best with this plan. Nothing. He is checking it's, something to be yeah, fair. He said he was checking I guess Val does have a rapier. Like it's a like, rapier. He's got magic arrows too, I believe. Is it a magical rapier? Or is it just a well, it's a magical one. It's only like a plus one, I think. Yeah, he's got my old one. Oh yeah, the foot. Cause Onyx got the long sword. Alright, sorry, what were you asking? I was asking if Val's fine using melee because arrows probably won't work with this plan. Uh, so he says uh, I would probably stay mobile. Um, I probably would not use the hut just because uh, it would mean I would have to stay too close to the golem if the golem was outside. But uh, the hut might be good for us to at least have a safe area to retreat into. I don't know if yes. we want <clears throat> to try to use it too much. Just because the golem yeah. will be upon us if we're all in the hut. That's fair. I will have to stay in the hut. And then, like, as people need healing or if something like that, I, you can always, like, bump in. So... What I'm saying is, our point is to cast the hut so we can retreat. Then you cast a spell to make me invisible, for your magic, and we attack? Yes. We attack because we do like hit and run tactics because it won't be able to attack fully with the hut around. Well, the thing is, I have, despite my hatred towards magic, I have seen invisibilities not do that well attacking oh Is this yours? is a greater one fucking magic yes it doesn't last as long as some other invisibilities but you can 
do pretty much whatever you like during it. Fucking magic. Now, do you want to just get this on the way? Yeah, I was oh, yeah, looking I it up, awesome. and I don't think you are actually supposed to be able to do ranged attacks through the hut. Is what? Yeah, the, that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So just, uh, yeah. Just keep that's why that we mind. were asking him about using. Yeah, that's why I was saying Val. If so, he's fine. If he would, look, if he's staying in the hut, he would have probably have to use a sword. That's what. Depending on where the hut is, he can probably still range from like over there. Yeah, he says, there. uh. I will, uh, I will be over here using this large area to move around and shoot. If you can keep him out of there, that would be best. Though I imagine such a creature could easily push past you, so I expect uh, I might get its attention. It depends on who's there. Oh wait, you're gonna be invisible, huh? Oh never mind, it's definitely gonna be chasing me then. Uh, depending on where I stand and... Where's Eldwin? Oh, there you Oh, are you going to yeah, go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? He says, uh, no, no offense, Eldwin, but I've seen enemies push you aside like a feather. You don't seem you're, like the yeah. best for holding ground. You're not wrong. <laughs> Move it, nerd. Hey, just because he's invisible, he's going to push people back as well. Uh, yeah. True. I don't think you can take oppies from invisible, though. If I, uh... Oh, you actually, can't take oppies? I don't. I, I don't think remember. People can't take oppies on you. Or on you, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. I know we've so, had that discussion. So if before. we set up the hut over here, so we have a treat space, I go in it with Anvil. He casts invisibility on me. I get here, so if he runs passing towards the valves, he gets bumped into me. So as well, just uh, be careful if you. Uh, if you're taken down during the fight, that could prove disastrous. So just be cautious, all of you. I think magic is always this, uh, uh, disastrous. And Val's it's... just gonna kinda walk over here and get his arrows ready. He says, alright, I am ready. Where the fuck did you disappear uh, off to? Oh, whatever. I've been ritually casting the hut pretty much this entire time. Oh, uh, that's true. Val might you need... Some more. Oh no, then never mind. This place is lit up, so he's fine. What are you doing? All right, so what are you all gonna do when he casts the hut? I'm gonna uh get inside. Uh, do you have a shield as well? I only see one hand on you. Oh, oh, I thought it was. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, I figured you did. I just wanted to check. Yeah. All right, I believe we are ready if you wish to bring the hut out. The only other danger is if something hears the battle and comes and gets involved, but so far we've uh, avoided that. I think they would have heard the other battle if that was the case. Right, so Doesn't you're... mean something else won't rock up. So yeah. where are you putting the hut? Uh, where do we think is going to be the best place for this 20-foot ball? You wanted it to uh, I think uh, be the here. trap. So we have a retreat space, I believe that's what you said. All but right. if you want to do something different, be my guess. So you're trying to pass ten minutes and put it there? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. question: Do we need a break, or are we good to continue? Because we've been a little bit over halfway. I'm good. Alright, so ten minutes will pass. Go ahead and place your hut. Also, Mary, I'm assuming it was by accident, because I can just see your ceiling. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm on my mobile on. and... Yeah. I have my so camera what... on. I'm going to have to place that Probably like that, so it doesn't get obscured by anything, because it can't be. Yeah, because it can't. It probably wants to be one back. Would probably be better. Yeah, go like one back. Like what right here? here? Yeah. Oh no no no! So like right there. Yeah, there. Because oh. it can't go through walls. It disappears. As he's casting the HUD, I'm inside with them. All right, Val will also make sure he's part of this, so he comes over to get permissions, then goes back out. He says, all right, whenever you all are ready. 
may the gods watch over us in this time of danger. And he kind of kisses his finger and puts his hand towards the sky. Or the uh, cave. So I will reach out and touch uh, LJ and cause freedom. So if you want to do that now, it's going to lose a round because, uh, yeah. So it'll be nine rounds instead of the ten. Okay. Uh, if you want to do it outside uh, of combat, I assume you're just going to run over and open the door after that. Yeah, uh, pretty much. I was going to yeah. get one, someone to be like, okay, door now. <laughs> All right. So. Could you turn off the animation, please? Sure. Thank you. That was high fidelity graphics. <laughs> you like that? Alright, so give me initiative rolls as you cast your spell. Anyone else who wants oh, to cast uh, something? Have, uh, when when I do up. my spell, I'll also give I'll give Nasira Vigilance Blessing so she gets advantage on her next initiative roll. Alright, so I assume you do that first then. Yeah, I would have done that and then done the spell because I, I, I keep forgetting I need to give it to people. I am... Yeah. Can I use my ambush after I make the roll before? Uh, your ambush? Ambush combat security. Oh, thank Basically, you, Anvir. That gave me a huge bonus. I can spend uh, I a security I die and add it to the roll. Oh, the same thing still. <laughs> can I do that uh, before I ambush? You would do that before you roll, I believe. And dang it. Uh, as Onvid touched me, giving me great invisibility, the last thing anyone hears me say is, um, uh, part of a prayer to, uh, his goddess. Alright, so, Sira, as things fall into the place, as, uh, these spells are being cast, you are the first to react. What do you want I to do? I would have pointed out where the mechanism to open this door was <laughs> okay. to everybody. <laughs> All right. Did you tell us how to work it? Yeah, I, I would have explained like what on via, uh, not on via, on, uh, Otto did last time. All right. So you're attempting to open the door. Yeah. All right. Uh, the door clicks and will open. Uh, at which point, the golem who is standing in there uh, will. Yeah, he would see you guys back there. So it powers up and begins walking towards you. Uh, okay. What else are you doing? Um, I throw guess... a couple dots at him. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Um. Uh, uh, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, um, yeah, I guess I'll, um, I'll... <laughs> Did you guys... I, okay, do we know that he's gonna come out of the door? <laughs> Alright, okay, I'll... He's chased us before. He did, okay, alright. So then I will not, go ahead... Not Sira, though. Yeah, he's never seen me before. Um... But he's seen us. Yeah. yeah. He's seen those two, which I believe he walked on to. I guess I'll just do a couple boomerangs for this to get things started and then pew, fall pew. back. Oh, we All right. See what he does. You throw a boomerang. So, item interaction grabs it off of your. Well, I'll say you had it in your hand. Uh, 24 will strike. Is the boomerang magical? It is not. All right, so unfortunately, it seems to bounce harmlessly off of his chest. Does not do okay. any damage. Can I still move him? Uh... Well, I guess, no, it doesn't matter. I don't think moving him does anything for us, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, All right, if anything, we case, need him closer. In that case, I will not throw my second boomerang. Um, and I guess... Okay. So your um, boomerang has uh, come back to you. So you now have two boomerangs, I assume, one in each hand. Oh, perfect. Um, and, well, actually, I... I oh, wait, no, you hit him. Never mind. So the boomerang, one of your boomerangs is on the floor, and you have one in okay, the other perfect. hand. 
No, I, 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 the other one was stowed, so um, oh, okay. I, I've empty, I've empty hands. Just come back to the hut. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna fall back. Um, oh, um, yeah. What's yeah. that thing for invisible? Back. For invisible? It's the like ninja-looking guy. Yeah, I guess that's my turn. All right, Eldwin. All right. There we go. Oh, the reason my character sheet is now tiny. Why did that happen? You probably zoomed in or zoomed right. out. I know it has some effect on it. Uh, first off, I'm going to blade song for my bonus action. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> He's an elf. Oh. So mark yourself as blade singing. Yep. Uh. Gotta find the music note. There's. It's always hard to. I always struggle finding it. Isn't it favored for the? Uh... There it is. For the words that pops up. Um, yeah, that's a bit glitchy sometimes. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then for my action, I'm going to cast on myself haste. Oh, played song is not on favorites, so now it should be. Yeah, there were two spells I was considering casting. One was Invisibility for L LJ. The second one was Holy Weapon for... Alright, so you cast Haste on yourself, moving a bit quicker. Fucking yep. magic, man. And then this is going to be kind of silly. So, using... Let's see. Let me make sure I got enough movement to do what I want to do. Yeah, I do. So what, your AC is like 20 through now? Yep, my AC is 20. I'm going to run in there to start. What the fuck? Uh, use my hasted action just to stab at it with my rapiers. See if it hits or not. Uh, yeah, 24 will land a hit, doing 14 piercing. And then, so that was 45. And I will use the last... 35 to run all the way back out here. What giving, the fuck? You're giving him a punch at you? He's dead. Yeah. Disadvantage. Alright. So he is going to attempt a slam attack. I actually use this big sword. Shh. Uh, 16 nope. will miss, luckily. Alright. Anything else? Plus 13. Uh, nope. That will be my turn. Hanvir. Hi. Hmm. What you gonna do? When they come for me, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh I can't really do a lot with while well, before stepping out. I was hoping he would get back in the dome for this, but he'll just not have to benefit. So I'm gonna cast uh, aid. All right, so you channel aid affecting the... some people in the dome. Yeah, so what pretty much every is? single person in the dome, me, TJ, and LJ, and uh, Nasir, I got five max Val. HP. Oh. Val's not in the dome, and the magic effect won't reach you outside oh. the dome, right? Oh, gotcha. Yes, I thought that, that was correct. Good. Okay. So, yeah, I can only give it to the three of us. So, your maximum hit points is increased by five for the next eight hours. Oh, cool. Okay. And you also gain five, just... Yeah. yeah, you also heal that five. Uh, so that's it for you, right? Sorry, yeah, I was trying to count, uh, change my HP. Yeah, that's it. All right, the golem is going to move over this way. Uh, he's going to stop here, uh, inhale, and let loose a blast of poison breath, uh, which I think only affects you. I need a con save. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's bad. God, I don't. I don't remember being I'll that bad. I'll use an inspiration point just to Steve, maybe I can. Okay. Alright. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Alright, so Thank luckily goodness. he resists taking 27 damage. Poison. Wow. <laughs> That's not really good. <laughs> And now you have to make another constitution saving theory. Yep. Yeah, that hey. one's better, though. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, so walk it's a 27, today. right? Yep. Right. So, 13. DC 13 or 14? 13, 13. yeah. Alright, that's... That should be too hard. That's the world of natural one. I mean, well, I, I have Warcaster and, and Bladesong, oh. so... Here we go. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that That's would make yeah. it. Anything else? As it for him? Yep, LJ. Cool. Uh, since there is invisibility on me, I will go here. Right here. Is this a two-way door or? A... Yeah, it's two-way. I mean, not to a, um, be able to fit. Uh, he could uh, probably squeeze through there. Okay, I will step right here. And if he comes within my attack range, I will attack. Alright, so you ready and attack. Val. Val says, uh, I, I cannot see him. Uh, can you bring him out? Or are we switching plans? And he's gonna come up this way. I'm just going to yell at He's making his way. Make his way down. Uh, you know what? He doesn't want to... Yeah, he's just going to ready a shot because he doesn't want to get stuck up there and get punched. Uh, Syrah. Or, sorry. Syra? Syra? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's going to... Let's see. I oh, don't want to get in the way of him coming out further. So... I will... Past. Nah, he's probably gonna be. Dang it, he's like resistant to everything I can do. Um, except if I was up front and center punching him. Um, <laughs> let's see, what do I wanna do? Oh, uh, just for sake of uh, letting you know. Or, okay, no, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, what are you doing? Um. Are you a level six monk, Miss Yara? Uh, I think she said level nine. Yeah. Okay. You're she fine. does have magical fists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have magical fists. Yeah. I, just, I um, my my only damage cantrip is poison, and I'm assuming he's going to be resistant to <laughs> it. So, so yeah. I think That's I'm going spell. to. Also, doesn't that spell only have a fifteen foot range? I think it's 30, but still, it doesn't matter. Uh, I would have stepped up if I needed to, but it's, I don't think... Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Um, I'll step up out of the tent and uh, let's just find out. Um, did it cast? Oh, is it a broken macro? I hate broken macros. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it is 10 feet. You're right. All right. So 5, 15... 20. Do I think he has reach? Uh, you could probably tell that his sword does have 10 feet of reach. All right. All right. I'm not doing any of that. All right. Um, I, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the poison spray wouldn't do much on him. He was just debating whether or not. Here, let's do this. I'm going to put, I'm going to cast. Do I need to be able to see? Can I put this on LJ? No. All right. Uh, knowing where LJ just moved up, because I hear, heard him, I'll reach out and like uh, touch him, and I'll put heroism on him. All right. So, so you cast heroism. What does that do? Uh, it first level spell concentration one minute uh, until the spell ends. You're immune to being frightened and gain temp HP at the start of each of your turns. 
equal to what ability modifier? Oh shit! Um, Which I think is, is it... wisdom for a monk. Oh, good, good. Okay, uh, for a second there, I thought it was like. Um, so that would be. Well, it depends. Where do you, where does do they get the heroism from? Uh, it's just the spell casting ability modifier. It actually would be wisdom as well, but yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's plus three, so you get three temp HP at the start of every turn. Yeah. Cool. Not a big deal, but it's a little something just because I don't feel like I can do a whole lot of good Better than nothing. right now. All right, so that's, um, what'd you say? Better than nothing? Oh, yeah. All right, that's all she's doing for now. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so one minute timer, uh, concentration, and Eldwin, mm -hmm. what are you doing? All right. Quick question. Is there a token uh, thing for heroism? No, you just kind of have to remember it. I'm just going to put yellow for heroism. I guess got to make sure this guy's still coming out. I'll... Uh, is this a spot? Oh, is... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's, just... that's five feet worth of movement. Probably ten right. if he's squeezing through. Alright, so I'll go into the door and I will take uh, three strikes first on booming. Okay. Uh, 19 will miss. How did you miss it 24 before? will strike him with the second one. Yep, he's got an AC of 20. Oh, 10 points. Oh, uh, an 18 will miss again as you poke at his metal body to no avail. Uh, anything else? Uh, I will move back out and I'll go into the. Alright, he will do another reaction on you. Oof, big ol' sword attack. Uh, 23, Whoa. I think. Uh, I will shield. Alright, see Should reaction. The, uh, Spending a, uh, <laughs> another first level spell. I love how we keep insisting on fighting this creature that's like five challenge levels higher than us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, anything oh, else, God. Alduin? Uh, nope, that's my turn. Alright, Anvir. Uh, there is not a great deal I can do. Not I... Either. Yep, I, I just sit here and chill, and I, I don't know. I guess I'll, uh, help action only really helps people within five feet of you, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'll just stand here giving encouraging screams. Uh, you can do it, team. <laughs> I believe in you. All right. Uh, the Iron Golem. We'll start dripping poison from his mouth again. Uh, but he is going to go 10, 20, 25. Uh, my reaction. Reaction to do what? Uh, I said if he got him. Oh, you're attacking. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you spend your reaction and swing. Uh, yep. that will clank off of him. Uh, Double he yeah. is going to not really like his positioning here, so he's just going to burn his dash. Well, first he's going to try to overrun you, so he gets to make a athletics versus your athletics. He has advantage. I hope he doesn't be... 21. Uh, he does oh, indeed yeah. just kind of shove you aside. 10. Uh, oh, no, both your second rolls for 10. 15. And actually, at this point, Val's going to go, Oh, gods, he's out! And take a shot. Pew! Uh, 27. Oh, nice. Will strike, doing 12 points of damage. Uh, and definitely getting the thing's attention as it steps here. Uh, ending its turn because it dashed. It's like, oh no, it's past, it's out, it's out, and he's going. Well, he can't do anything yet. Uh, LJ. Uh, this question is uh, going back to that normal thing. 
does this thing look like it could be trip? Uh, it looks like it's pretty sturdy, but maybe the way he's shoved by you, you think he's pretty strong. <laughs> Yeah. Me? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's pretty um, big. It's probably it's like a trying to trip a car. I mean, I'm sure you could do it, but uh, not not the easiest <laughs> thing. Uh, I will get. Oh, I guess a two-legged car, so a little easier than a four-legged car. Oh, we'll get him with so I'm close on range if he moves. Yeah. And I will. I am going to use one of my combat superiorities and make the first attack a lunging attack and add plus seven to the damage. Okay, so you swing at him with your attack. Uh, unfortunately, that will miss. Think. You keep rolling the same number. Uh, second attack will strike, though. Not with the lunging pet. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, doing 15. Getting his attention. I do that. Can I do anything? No. I don't think it can. Uh, that's it. Alright. Uh, Val goes. He is gonna go... Oh no! And he's gonna move back. 30 feet and take some shots. Pew! Dink! Pew! Dink! Cursing. Gods damn it! Uh, Sira. Alright, so she's going to go 10, 15 and start pummeling. Alright, so you're punching at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 28 will punch it. Would I had a flank from a old one? No, because he can't actually threaten while he's inside. Okay. Cool. Uh, so 20... Well, okay, so 7 points on the first hit. Uh, 20 will strike again. Doing another 7. And then I'm going to use Flurry of Blows. Fucking... I was saying fucking magic, but uh, this is magic. Right. And then uh, do two more attacks. Alright, so you keep a punching, Dink. Nope, that's going to just kind of hurt your fist. Uh, 25 will land, though. As you channel key into these strikes. Uh, the creature now turns towards you. And Lift. then I'm going to step back into the dome without leaving his threat range. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can't. Yep. Yeah, so there you go. Yep. So you quickly like ah like push past Eldwin. Uh, Eldwin. Yeah. Similar thing uh, for me. I'm going to go strike him with three times. First one, booming blade. All right. Oh, that is a crit. Ooh. Perfect, right, want to get that one on. So 6 and 15, 21 damage. Alright. Uh, nope, out. that will completely <laughs> miss. Ah, uh, that's what I get. <laughs> uh, yep, and that will completely miss as well. Anything else? Uh, nope, that is my turn. All right, Anvir. We can do it. We can do it. All right, Anvir, I guess, takes the dodge action, <laughs> saying inspiring okay. things. Shows, as as shows the cat poster. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> Mondays. Wah, wah. There's not a great deal I can do from in here, eh? No, you can't really do anything. Because well, we as soon as you step part, out, though, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the balance. Uh, so the golem is going to move, taking your damage as the blade booms. Uh, would that get doubled as well or no? No. At no. this point, nah. it's uh, past the crit time. I didn't think so, but... It's more of an effect anyway. It's not part of the... Yeah. 
It's an effect of the attack. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. What shot? Stop. There it is. There we go. For some reason, I don't know why I did an attack roll. Alright, so you do another eight points of thunder. Uh, he's gonna move down this way. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get an obby because I'm in the... No, because you can't attack through. So he goes yeah. 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. I will use my reaction to attack him. Okay. And you have Sentinel, do you? Yes. Uh, yeah, 22. 22 will strike him, doing 18. 18. Uh, would that stop him where he is at the moment, or where... Uh, yeah, it would stop him here. So he's going to turn around and guy, just... swing into swing. You two are, I think, equally hard to hit at the moment. Yes, I believe so. 22 in disadvantage. Uh, well, he has disadvantage, too. Actually, he's way harder to hit than... Yeah. They both have disadvantage because he's blurred. Yeah, that's uh, quite real hard. Actually... The golem is blurred? No, the uh, Eldwin's blurred. Uh, uh, no, you know what? He is not going to attack because I just remembered he had his thing recharged. So his mouth opens oh. up and he goes... <laughs> uh, give me a con save. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 25. Alright, so you would make it taking uh, 22 points of poison damage. Oh. That's... <laughs> totally not <all. clears throat> uh, That um, is it for him. LJ. Uh, because I'm invisible, I'm playing by his sight. I will move over here and do two attacks. All right. Uh, let's make the first one lunging attack. Uh, yeah, twenty-seven will strike him. And fuck, and add one to the damage. So so sixteen damage. Second attack is eighteen. Uh, think that will bounce off his hide. Anything else? You know, let's be fun. Let's add two more attacks to it. Alright, so you action surge. Ah, 30. 30, yeah, that'll hit. Doing another 18. 18. And another attack, 23. Yeah, that will hit as well. For another 17. Alright, anything else? That would be it, I guess. Alright. Pally yells, why wound to die? And he's going to fire. <laughs> it's not even it? close. I can't even oh, see him. Is it really even alive? Uh, so he does know, another 22 die. points of damage. It's two arrows strike the thing. Uh, that's it for Val. Sasira. Wrap your hat. Um, yeah, she's going to leave the hut. 5, 10, 15... Is this spot flanking with Barrett, or do I have to be in this one? Uh, no, this one would be flanking. Okay. So that's 20, 30, 40, 5. And then, um, yep, start, start pummeling. All right. Uh, 23 will strike him with the first one, doing 7. I'd like to move him 5 feet left. With Crusher? Alright. Yeah. And then, uh, another strike. That one Think. misses. Um, gonna that, do... That did uh, move him out of flank. Oh, okay. I don't know if you meant well, to do that. Nah, I guess I don't have to move him. I was wondering if maybe we could try and start... Like, I, I, I want to keep him away from Val, so. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll move. I'll move him. I'll move him. Okay. okay. And then, um, I will, uh, Flurry of Blows again. All um, right. Find it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but as you probably saw, you 
you probably think that I can hold him in place if I hit him. And then, yeah, two more hits. Boom. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you crit All on right, the first. I'm going to use Hand of Harm on this one as well. Um, oh, what is wait, that? Wait. Advantage? Um, will that let me roll twice from the crit or no? Uh... That, uh, yeah, so that'd be two dice plus three. All right. I mean, it costs me another key, but it lets me do, um, there's the normal bludgeoning and then two hand of harms. Oops, I just clicked physician's touch instead of hand of harm because the chat moved up. All right. All right, so oh, 17, yeah. 24, all right. All right, and that was just my first from Flurry of Blows, so one more hit. Ha <laughs> Oh. oh, and can I can I move him five feet forward from that pre, from that crit, and then I'll move him again on this one. So I'm moving him towards Eldwin. Back, you mean? Uh huh. Mm, yeah. That, yeah. That will put him at a range of your attacks if you do that, so you can't attack a second time. Okay, then I'll I'll only push him one of the times, not both. I'll push him after the third on the attack. second yeah. one. All right. Yeah. So you do another seven, pushing him back. Anything else? That is it. All right. He's going to squish me like a bug. Eldwin. All right. Uh, I will. Chicken. Uh, hold on. Would this be flanking? Yes. Oh. All right. Either of those would be flanking. I have right with two people, two different positions, by standing still. There we go. Yep. Uh, I'll take my three hits. First one booming. Okay. Uh, I think nope. that will miss, unfortunately. Being pincered by the two most annoying people to hit. <laughs> Uh, 21 will strike, though, or 23. 12. So we have three people in this fight who is hard to hit. Uh, 20 will just hit with blank, doing another 11. Alright, you know, anything else? Eventually he'll be wounded, guy. Yeah. Uh, I will use, let's see, is that 5, 10, 15... Yeah, I'll use the rest of my movement to go here. Uh, all right. I think that's the rest of my movement. Yeah. Wait, you have eighty feet of movement? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh I get I spend unveil. thirty plus ten with blade song, and then it gets doubled by haste. Oorah! Oorah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's, our, uh, he's our fallback. He's our he's our out. He's he's, our... he's home base. He's running the base. Yeah. All right. The golem is going to swing south at you. I'm gonna use my reaction to uh, hit him. Fair I'm enough. Step out gets real fucked, and that's about it. Uh, Got that hit. scroll. All right. Yeah. Twenty-two would strike him for fifteen damage. Okay. Uh, Alright, so he is going to multi-attack. Uh, 16. Ooh, miss. And... Ooh, 21. Got it, yeah. Alright, so the second one strikes you doing 27 slashing. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that is it for him. LJ. Cool. Uh, very simple. Very simple round to attack. Oh, looks like you gotta concentrate. Oh, yep. Come, it's not showing that. Whoa. Alright. No more heroism. <laughs> oh, wait. I haven't been gaining those points. Well, so you then would, you would have. Yeah, you'd have three. You would have three back from that last round, yeah. Cool. Okay. But that's cool. the last. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Can I? Hmm. Wonder. Do I 
Do I attempt it? You know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's try. I'm gonna try to drop a one. Alright. Uh, yeah, so, 26. He yeah, is definitely going to use strength. Uh, he would have advantage because of the size difference. Uh, Alright, so you Huzzah! grapple him with your first attack. Huzzah! And after you know, It's just scorn scrawny looking elf pirate just like Grabbing Actually, on I, I, giant that metal. might have to be we done. I have a shield in my hand. Oh yeah, I don't think you can grapple him if you have both your hands used. So that's going to not be a thing. You'd have yeah. to get rid of your sword. Roll that back. I would just attack twice then. So All that right. was my plus attack. Did I uh attack yeah, twenty five will strike. Yeah. Did I do the damage on my foot? No, I didn't. So uh, that's my foot. 15, okay. And that's my second. Uh, and the other 16. Alright, anything else? Uh, uh, yeah. I will save it. Alright, Val is gonna go ho gods and fire at him some more. Uh, 20 will actually wait. I think he has cover. Does Val ignore cover? I don't think he does. Unfortunately. Well, here. I could just run over here. Oh, I don't think he has shot So I'll say, well, even there he'd still have cover. Yeah, I think he would miss with the second one cursing. Uh, trying to get a better shot. Uh, Sira. He does have his point feline agility to try and move into a better spot. Yeah. Mm, I think I'm going to cast Bless on Barrett, Eldwin, and Val. Barrett? Uh, I didn't know he's back. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can get Val. He's out okay, of range. Okay, I guess I'll put Bless on myself instead. Um, well, I mean, I could get to him, but I'd have to take an oppie, so. Um, and the reason I wanted to do this is... So here's... i oh, link that... But then I also want to use, let me find it, Voice of Authority, and I'm going to instruct Barrett to make a weapon attack against the Golem. Alright, cool. so Barrett spends his reaction to attack. Um, I'm trying to find the bless thing. It's like a book with like a little fun dial thing on it. Yeah, that wasn't what's why I'm just trying to find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's cool, fella. Uh, robe beneath, like, the stealth mask. Uh, okay, I... Actually, can I use my movement before, like, and go here? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Cool. So I get <laughs> Frank and what? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you stab him from invisibility hitting. For 30. Uh, doing 12. 12 points. All right. Anything else? Um, and I think that I can't use any of my key bonus actions if I didn't use my action to attack. Well, I could step at the wind or fishing defense, but I'm low on key points already, so. Alright, that's my turn. Alright, Eldwin. Alright. I'm making sure, cause after so long, I've mi I keep mixing up uh, Bless and Emboldening. This, is... this one applies to everything, and you don't have to call it. Yeah. Well, not everything, but saving throws and attacks, yeah. Alright. Uh. Hold on. Do I have flanking where I am now, or do I have to? No, have you break? would. Uh, you could get it from here or down here. All right, so I'll move here then. And yes, the D four, oh. right? Yep. So we have an invisible tank. We have a tank <laughs> which can be seen, and a monk. 
and you flourish so is fighting in a bull. Three, I got three <laughs> more attacks for some booming blade or booming blade. Uh, uh, 21 will strike with the first one. Doing eight points of damage, which will wound him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Finally. Huzzah! Really took, like, five rounds of combat to wound one. Yeah, it's the right. field! And I would call out, be careful not to group up if he uses that poison attack again. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> why I was like, eh, I don't want to use too much. So that's additional, doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, you will stumble on that attack. Anything else? Uh, my last attack. Uh, think. Oh, mm. that's gonna be blocked. All right, Anvir, you're you're uh, holding the base. I'll um, move and give Anvir oh. company. <laughs> oh, you're giving him an oppy. <laughs> All right, sure, he'll take an yep. oppy. Shit, I don't have a right chance to counter that. Whoops, that's all right. Yep. <laughs> Uh, 21, I believe, misses you just barely. Uh, well, since he's in the dome, I'll actually give him a second level healing word, just so I feel like I'm productive. I'm helping. <laughs> Alright, uh, the golem is going to move Look south one. Hey. And swing twice at the monk. Because she is definitely easier to see. And I don't have my reaction to attack, so. Uh, 17 just hits, I believe. Uh, yeah. 27 slashing. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, I thought we. <laughs> and. Yeah, that's gonna hit you again for another 27 slashing. As he. Flurries twice, cutting into you quite a bit. Uh, that oh, is... Oh, they're both 27, okay. Yeah, and I believe that would wound you. Yeah. Uh, That's not right. LJ. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I think your voice of authority would well work better for Eldwin, because LJ is built to use all his reactions. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. I was just, I think he hits a lot have, harder usually, so. I think yeah, at that I point, have, I wasn't in range anyways. Yeah, I have a central reaction and three combat spirities that use my reaction. Uh, I will stay right here and make two attacks. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think. First but, one will miss, sadly. Oh, um, the fight. Uh, yeah. Second one will land though, cutting him for another 14. And that's it for me. Alright, Val says, uh, thank you, please uh, stay clear if you can. But do that, that'll hit, and that will hit both. Uh, both, nice. well, here, I'll move here because he needed the clear shot. Uh, so he strikes for. 19 with his two hits. Nice. The uh, yeah. oh, four reactions. Sira. I think that in order to keep this bless going, I'm going to disengage. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, actually, well, yeah, yeah. And um, I'm going to hang out with El uh, with uh, Andrea for a round. <laughs> Uh -huh. Raw, raw, raw. All right. What's uh, serious uh, health bar? Uh, you can see my health bar. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah I can see it too. Uh, I think we said that. Uh, I think you fixed it before, Lou. So let's make sure to update the the token when. Uh, well, if it should it be now. character yeah. sheet based. Um, the, the health bar being visible to other people is character sheet based. Uh, part of it is, oh, okay. but let me. Oh, uh, you have all these. I can't do anything about it right now because you have too many tokens on you. And I don't want to take off your timer. Uh, okay. Eldwin. Okay. All right. Going to run. Run and attack. Disengage. Leave. 35, 40. 
Uh, and gonna take my three stabs at it. First one, booming blade. Okay. So three plus five to it. So plus five, five for this. No. Uh, Did twenty-four will strike. Doing another sixteen. He doesn't have flank. Um, yeah, he, he does. does. He does. Okay. Yeah, he has flank. Uh, second attack. Twenty-one will strike, or twenty-three, doing another seven. Plus four to this. Twenty-eight. Uh, yeah, twenty-four strikes again, stabbing him for twelve. And then I will just move this way so that we don't accidentally group up. All right, Anvir doing the, the chant. Rah, rah, rah. Choo, choo. Choo, choo. All right. Hoorah, hoorah. Hey, <laughs> Gollum. Uh, Gollum, nope, does not recharge. Oh, Anvir didn't do. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I assume. Oh, were you doing something, Anvir? Oh, yeah, I should probably, actually, since she's here, do some healing. Um, I'm slowly running out of spell slots, so I'll give you a third level healing. <laughs> right. The golem, I think, is going to swing at uh, the invisible guy. Oh. Uh, doing a multi attack 26. Oh, yeah, that is. Alright, you are slashed for 27 on the first attack. <laughs> and second swing. 18, luckily we'll miss you. Uh, Alright, LJ. Uh, one quick thing so I can update my tokens. Near death is one fourth of your. Yeah, way. you are near death. Cool. Uh, do do do. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Those who run away live to fight another day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why he can't take off the journey. Well. Well, he can, but you can disengage. I thought we said that you wouldn't be able to take off. Oh, because you're invisible. Yeah, no, yeah. he couldn't. I will say. I will put I mean to you, say to Elrond. Can you get this for a turn? Well, I mean, you can still use your action before you run away. Since you're invisible, you don't have to disengage. Oh, yeah, you're right. I will make two attacks. Uh, yeah, you strike with the first one. Doing 15. Uh, and strike again, doing another 17. And I will use my movement to uh, join on right here and be. <laughs> All right, Val will say, "Keep it up," and he's gonna fire. <laughs> Badoo. Yeah. Badoo. Oh, Fuck. He will time. strike once for eleven, cursing his uh, bad aim. Uh, uh, and then it is new round Nasira. Um. So, can I see Eldwin? Or do I need to step out? Uh, you can see him, I believe. Um, what it, are you, did, is it a bonus yeah. action oh, now shit. to use, to do a medicine check? To, to assess the Yes, state? it's a bonus okay. action to do any type of, like, mental thing. Alright, I'm going to, oh wait, I already bandaged Barrett, didn't I? Or LJ. Oh, you did, uh, yeah. Okay. We did just okay. have a short rest. Right, but yeah. I bandaged him immediately yeah, after the rest because he didn't uh, have any hit, hit die, yeah. All right, so darn, I was going to bandage him, but I guess I will bandage myself and go out and join Eldwin. I change up my plans here and let Anvir hopefully take care of Bear, uh, LJ a little bit. Uh, Sorry. I will tap, uh, when I get into the thing, I will tap Anvir on so it wouldn't know I'm in here. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> good point. All right. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I don't need to use it. He probably that. heard you walk in since you are making noise. I do it anyway because uh, fucking magic. Uh, and yeah, I'll go ahead and give um, Eldwin some flank here, even though I'm probably going to get punched. 
All right, so you probably want to be here for the flank. Okay. Uh, but Eldwin, what are you doing? All right. Uh, same thing I've been doing because I realized all my damaging spells are fire or psychic. So. <laughs> What we're doing is effective, though. We just gotta hang in. A yeah, little we're bit. whittling it down. <laughs> oh my god! Thunder do the same thing for the sixth round in a row. Yeah, that's yeah. That's better than what I've been doing. That is true. <laughs> so, You've been providing a base of operations. <laughs> on moral support. On moral support. Yes. I, uh, you said I'm flanking, right? On base. Yeah, you're flank. On this, the spawn of the. I'm the fifth. Ooh, now 17 misses the first one. Uh, plus another four. Yeah, 25 will strike with that one, doing 12. Uh, and 22 will strike, doing another 13. Oh, shit. I had my wrench and I could have done some. Oh, fuck. Alright, anything else? Uh, I will. Stay here. All right, Anvir. So just to be clear, the twenty did not. Oh, it did thirteen piercing. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No. Aw. Ra ra ra. Yeah. Are you gonna heal I, LJ? I would love to, but it's a creature I can see. <laughs> oh no! Oh True. no! Uh, you? Do you? Uh, I guess you could put up your Twilight Sanctuary. That's true, actually. But he would have to end his turn here. Well, I mean, well, for next turn. Be within 30 feet and still, yeah. Uh, screw it, I've got a channel divinity left. I'll put the aura up, even though it will only be able to... It will, like, get blocked out. Yeah, yeah I mean, it will only... Well, like anyone coming there. in will get it. Uh, but the yeah. Iron Golem goes... Mm, wah, wah, wah. I'll put a timer nope. on, but I won't put the, putting the radius up. He's going to move down this way again. Uh, you didn't punch him, right, Sira? No, I haven't touched him for more, two, two whole All rounds. Right, so he's going to turn towards Eldwin. I Hi. The last time he attacked me, I hadn't touched him for a round. <laughs> yeah, but you were also throwing some spells. At this point, he's going to go yeah. back after Eldwin. Well, and you've I been... think you're also the easy the one to hit at that point. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, the one that you could see. <laughs> his, uh, his magical threat priorities are engaged so yeah at this point he I can't see that one that one's blurry this one looks normal <laughs> uh 20 i believe just oh, misses no. yep. and second swing 18 will miss as well lj god i love this cloak <laughs> yeah i know even though i can't i probably won't be able to be affected by it far away, I will go back out 25 feet. Mm. Alright. I am. Am I. Combat security? Nope, nope, no. Nope. The golem will turn back towards the invisible guy. Oh, hello. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try to trip him. Alright. So that and is a strength uh, save. 32, by the way. So, I can update that. Uh, so 32 will strike. Uh, 17 plus 4, 21 damage. Okay. And they need to make a strength 17 save. All right, strength save. Uh, oh, he would yes! be knocked prone. Nice. <laughs> uh, boy, that little he goes me down to a knee. That drinks me events, right? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Uh, I can't move anywhere to gain fight, so I would just attack again. All right. So, 30. Uh, yeah, 30 will strike him. But 18 damage. Oh, which will put him near death. Let's go! That trip is going to be so useful. Um, and that's it. I'm tempted to come uh, Val yeah, curses I, I, and says, I, I Keep would... him standing and fires a disadvantage. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. 18 will miss. Oh, oh 25 oh. will hit, though. Nice. Doing another 10. You seem to be doing good enough. <laughs> uh, new round, Nasira. All right, I will. I will call to Anvir. Like, uh, our strategy seems to be effective. If you'd like to join us to finish, to help finish it, it's your choice, of course. <laughs> um, I'm gonna come down here to flank. Oops, full tip to back and strike twice. Yeah, I think. Oh wait, twenty-five will strike and twenty-eight oh, okay. will strike. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Uh, so then, nineteen. And I'm going to flurry of blows. Uh, that uh, range is so useful. But I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm only going to do one of the flurry of blows attacks. Twenty-two. Yeah, that'll strike for another eight. And for the other, I'm going to do. When you use your flurry of blows, you can replace one of the unarmed strikes with a use of this feature without spending an extra key. So I will um, give Bear, uh, LJ a little bit of healing. Okay, so LJ gains 1d6 plus 3. You can probably modify that so it naturally rolls. So 5. What? Eh, whatever. Come on, you come in. Ooh. Um, and then I'm going to move around so that we're not bunched up. 5, 10, 15. I think Val can still get a shot if he comes back over here. Is that right? Uh, he... not. With, I mean, he could come... He'd have to come here to get a shot without cover. Gotcha. Which okay. I think he can do. Well, I'd uh, rather if he uses that poison again that he doesn't get two of us at once. Then, yeah. Uh, oh, Eldwin. Okay. Uh... Starting with from, uh, with this give me flanking. Yes. Uh, I will. Uh, go here and. Uh, do the same thing first on booming blade. One with the extra pitfalls. All right. Unless this is gonna be a plus six. Ooh. Uh, yeah, 28 will strike for 15. Uh, plus another 4. 27 will strike. Another 8. Uh, and 25 will strike again. Another 9. All right, anything else? As you stab uh, him a bunch while he's getting back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to move back here. All right. Uh, Anvir. I will actually finally step out the bubble. Hey! <laughs> Anvir has Don't arrived. Look at the closet. And the second I walk out of that bubble, everyone just sees a huge aura and the bloody just erupt. <laughs> the fuck? Fucking magic. Alright, anything else? Um. Until like here is your bit. And then I will. Yes, screw it. I will. At a fourth level, do spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah, that gets. The... Oh, oh, I missed. I definitely <sighs> missed. All right, so you send your spiritual weapon flying. Unfortunately, that would not be enough. I'll drag him on. But yeah, that would be the end of my turn. Okay. So for his turn. Oh wait, I'll, I'll try and toll the dead. It probably won't work, but I. Just remember they sure haven't used an action. So you cast Hole of the Dead. Wow. Hey, a saving throw you can actually get advantage on. <laughs> uh nope, he will fail. So he is told. Ooh, terrible roll. Indeed. Uh so he takes three or sorry, ten points of damage. It's now looking angrily to the north. 
Uh, so for his turn, you will see the dripping begin again. Uh, oh no. Uh oh. No. And he is going to turn this way and. Oh, I get to use it in my high level game. <laughs> oh no. A bunch of. Uh, a bunch of poison comes at you too. I need con saves, please. 28. This is not going to go great for me. Oh, I have oh. Totally saved. Oh, let's go. Uh, so twenty-two oh. damage Ooh. each. Oh, 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 As a bunch of poison hits you. Uh, that is it for him, LJ. Uh, two attacks. I'm gonna use my final combat superiority to do a uh, 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 lunging attack. Oh, uh, real quick, I need a. Concentration check from uh, the guy holding an invisibility. Oh, I just I did a did. twenty. Okay, uh, so twenty-six will strike, doing fourteen. Uh, plus five from laundry attack. Uh, okay. And then second attack, crit. Yeah, that will crit, doing another twenty-two. Oh. All right. Anything else? Sparkle's still not down. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm probably going to get it back anyway. I'll use my bonus action. Is this a bonus action? Second one is a bonus action, right? The, yeah, sure. I don't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to use a second one, getting sitting HP back. All right. Uh, Val goes. You also get twelve ten. Is gonna run over this way. Oh, yeah. Say, ah. Huzzah! Pew! Pew! We'll hit twice. Doing 30, which will bring him down. Hey! Hey, it's like we're acting like a team or something. <laughs> what? Val gets 15. Never 15. heard of it. So yeah, the team, what's that? Iron Golem gets an arrow in his leg joint as it just kind of falls off and he falls over. A bunch of pieces going everywhere. <laughs> Val uh, says, oh uh, you're welcome, and he bows. <laughs> uh, LJ will just sit down as he almost just died. Well, got down. So if you want, you can try to give out uh, some temp HP with the rest of your aura, which I think is nine rounds worth. It so looks like just... he gave Val 15 if you want to record that. Sure. So, I'll, um, 9d6. Yeah, and see if you roll one. a 6. Uh, oh wait, he gave Val 15. And I'll fix okay. your token. Yeah, do, do like 9 so we'll Yeah, I'm gonna just name people as I roll, so I'll do me. Got a six, so sixteen. Um, I'll just go down the screen. So then LJ, there's a six, so sixteen. Eldwin, there's only a five, so fifteen. Uh, can you still wow. see her HP? No. 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 Okay. Um, Nasira got a six, so sixteen, and Val yeah. got a six, so sixteen. So everyone got sixteen temp HP except for Eldwin, who got fifteen. Wow. First you try and shoot me in the back, then you don't give me six. <laughs> Gosh. I hope, that, I hope that fight wasn't too boring for you, Anvir, but I'm glad we oh, had no, I was I was having a laugh because I'm just sat there like, yeah. Anvir just well, over there eating popcorn. Honestly, that is the best that any of our plans have ever gone. And so I, like, yeah. I really was expecting no, to no need our best plan. plan went really well. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah but yeah. invisibility getting all my chats off definitely help all these should be unlocked and untrapped. yeah every one of them was unlocked because uh auto triggered him on the very last one getting unlocked i might have relocked though true I'm possibly but uh it doesn't look so it looks like they are still locked i I'm opened just... this chest because they're still this is locked the one you mean they we... relocked no they're no longer they're still unlocked oh okay. uh, does not I'm look just... like they relocked I'm just this gonna sit right where I am. 
Almost. So yeah, I don't think you know. actually we looked in this chest last time. Yeah, right? that's no. what I was gonna say. This is we I want to look in this it. chest. Well, Otto <laughs> opened it, but he never got to look. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, this. Can we come in here and close the door here and rest while while we're looking at things. Shut the door. The poison starts flowing. I was about oh, to say, like, yeah. I was about to say, we have no idea that's, what exactly triggers the poison. That is true. He might be a little bit worried. I, have, I, I had assumed the Val, uh, was remote, but you're right. <laughs> Val's going to lean against the wall. He says, I shall wait out here just in case I need to free you again. <laughs> Good idea. idea. Yeah, Hang on, I think I have here. a meme for this. I'll stay out here with them. Um, uh, I'll protect them. <laughs> and they cost us some blood. Oh, God. He was at 30 HP by that poison attack. I was wondering how low you were after that. Yeah, I was 3 HP. If I didn't sick, I sick <laughs> win game. You. I'm it's still at 50. Yeah. Well, I feel like I feel like the only thing that didn't go pretty well for us in that combat was when LJ went back to Onvir for a heal and Onvir couldn't heal him because yeah. of his ability. Yeah. <laughs> Besides that, it did go pretty good. Yeah, you can heal with it. I'm just there like, yeah. yeah oops. Yeah, besides that, it was pretty good. Well, and I I was planning for me to get a heal on him and on Beer to get a heal on him. That's why I told him to come back to the hut, but because I'd already bandaged him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just out of more of a, like, just out of curiosity, and f feel free to tell me now if you don't want to, how much health did that thing have? Uh, it had a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't a. Yeah, it didn't have legendary actions, so it wasn't no, a true I boss, mean, but it uh, had it was, a lot of health. It was definitely like, definitely like gonna, a mini boss or like I'm gonna high level. I'm going to say 200 plus. Oh, absolutely. By how much damage we outputted, I'm going to say around 200 plus. Yeah, yeah no, it chest. definitely had more than 200. Yeah. Alright, so in this chest, as you pop it up, pop it open. Wah, 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 wah. Well, I felt like even the first time, even the first time we faced him, I felt like we had a chance against him if we hadn't gone into that combat already completely depleted like we did. Oh, God, yeah. You know? We were yeah. so we, dead by that day. If I remember correctly, <laughs> we had managed to wound him the first time. Right, yes. yeah. And in well, that fight, luckily, Barrett golems had, are not that smart. And in that first fight, They're Barrett never was even health. able to move. He was laying on the ground. Uh, yeah. If Barrett could move, he probably would have. So Barrett, yeah. you automatically uh, are the last one left for a, a wish list. So let Who me is? see, Barrett. Leo rather now. Or uh, yeah, Leo Junior, I guess, because Barrett. Oh. Barrett, I don't think you got a wish list item yet. No, he's never gotten one that with any of his oh. characters. I don't yeah, think. so this will uh, reset the board. Let me see what your list looks like. I I, I think I did. I think the belt of heal. Giant oh yeah, he got a giant. Oh, belt. did you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah he got the. All right. Yeah, so I then it him. is reset. Then uh, D twenty rolls, everyone. Why did I not record that? Weird. Because then. No, uh, I don't get it. Looks like maybe Eldwin, depending on what Nasira rolls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like Eldwin. So, um, wait, we're missing a roll though, aren't we? Or yeah, wait. Yeah. Well, mine's on. Oh, I'm still whispering to the GM. GM. I rolled. Oh, three. did you whisper? Oh, yeah. okay. So uh, it's Eldwin. Still, I only see I won. Still, I only see four rolls. It's because There's I only four of us. There's only four people. Yeah. Because we only have five total. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. So let me check out. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Yeah, the last time I used the the dice roller, I was to roll my death save in that last uh, fight, and so I was still whispering to the, to to Lou when I rolled it just now. Because uh, I don't I don't uh, use the dice the like, dice roller very often. I usually you didn't, use my mouse you didn't put the uh, the rarities. All right, just give me a d one hundred roll. I'll have to figure this out. Hmm? Oh. you didn't put rarities next to your wish list, oh, but I not? can. I can look into it. Uh, I thought I did, huh? I might be thinking something else. 
Yeah, All right, let me see ahead. if I can figure out what some of these are. Yeah, if you if you have that info, it would be easier than me looking it up. So if I you th uh, honestly, I think most of his stuff. Is I I know. Rare. Yeah, I know a couple of them off the top of my head. I think I do have them ordered by rarity. Do you? And what's why it's by rarity? All right, yeah. then give me. I think, I think I know where the break is, so give me a D three roll. Because yeah. I know uh, I know the first three are uncommon. Okay, so there is a book within this chest. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. Yeah. You would uh, see at the bottom of the chest is an old leather-bound book that seems like it's in very good condition for how old it would be. I'm not going to clip it because I, I wouldn't have found it yet, but I'm just going to add that to my <laughs> thing now because I know what that is. Yeah, you only have one book on there. It's actually your robot protection. <laughs> <laughs> it's just folded up. <laughs> It's actually a mimic who can be a grimoire or a robot protection. <laughs> so we'll start also looting, looting these other chests, which I believe were just mainly precious metals, right? Yeah, there was lots of. There's ore. lots of, uh, well, not ore, but like um, yeah. currency. Bars. Bars, yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I can put the info back in. Or wait, I don't think you identified all of them. So there are five potions, or let's see. So there yeah, are six. To identifying the potions, I mean. All right, there are six no. potions, three scrolls, uh, the grimoire, and then 30 gold bars, 50 silver bars, and 10 platinum bars. I can give you the stuff that uh, you do know what silver? it is. How many silver bars? So I can just write it down. Oh, thank you. So, um, what were the magic spell? What are uh, the uh, spells on the scrolls? Uh, let's see. You're looking at the scrolls. So that's 180 pounds worth of uh, precious metals. Uh, so yeah. But we but we specifically emptied the bag before coming out here. So hopefully we can get that back to the ship. Before the bag yeah, goes poof. I'm just gonna hop inside, grab the items, pop back out. Uh, Alright, so the scrolls. Give me three d10 rolls. Um, I'll do one. I Anyone do else want to do one? Four. Eldwin, you want to do one? Yeah. Alright, uh, so the first scroll. Is Morden Kaiden's private sanctum? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. I have no idea. What I that think does. Eldwin might be our caster for that, but I'm not sure if there's other classes that can do it. I think that's me. Yep, <laughs> that's just tiny hot on steroids. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's that's, like, that's wizard's starting tower. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how much does the bars weigh? Two pounds each. Yeah, they're two pounds each. Uh, second scroll is going to be a uh, spell scroll of Sleet Storm. I think that's Druid. And... Well, let's see what else here. And the Sorcerer, Wizard... Third yep. scroll. Domain, circle of the land, genie. Okay, so I think. Um, oh, the third scroll yeah, is uh, gate. Ooh. Oh, oh for, all for you, Eldwin. It's your lucky day. Let's go, gate. <laughs> That's full of kill dog. Eldwin, you got your wish list item, and you got yeah, we can. Spells. And you're able to scribe these, right? Yeah, if I have the money. The if I have the time and money. Yeah, the, the fancy inks. Hey, we can get the ancient green dragon back. <laughs> Date him back. 
Alright, so those are the scrolls. Uh, the potions, you would have to identify so you wouldn't know what oh, those are. Oh, clerics yet. can do gate as well? I didn't know that. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta bring in those celestial beings anyway, you can. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Eldwin's the one that can scribe this so, so that we, that we can do it again after multiple the uses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the, what are the chances, DM, that there's a 500 gold reliquary around here? So... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slim. Yeah, no. I mean, maybe they have one somewhere. But we have some precious metals now that you can we can commission someone to make it for, for you. Uh, yes. How much does the potions weigh? Uh, I think, pounds? yeah, they're not too heavy. Did we want to rest in this room before but we... But we might need to uh, get that info next time because we are over a bit. We want to do uh, MVP votes and end here. Shit. Yeah, let's fuck it. So yeah, you completely clear out these chests. Claiming the golem's treasure for yourself. This thing has been haunting us for... Four sessions? Yeah. By the way, I was just earlier at the start of the session, I was going through the uh, journal just to see, and, I'm, and I came to the realization we went to the temple over in March last Jeez. year, and I'm like, oh my oh, god. Wow. We've been at this god. for a year. We've been in this area <laughs> for almost a year. Wait, More than a year. Not, More no, than a year. The, that was the temple where... Not, not this temple, but the other yeah, temple. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I yeah, know, but like this time. knoll area we have been yeah. inside of for a real life year. Yeah, we have been in this, in this section, like this whole general section for over a year yeah there's been a lot of stuff going on here but yeah you're pretty much done now you guys could have left already you chose to stay even longer oh no yep we wanted our loot, wanted even, our loot. <laughs> even if we had left as soon as we could it still would have been over a year just you wanted all those left. gold silver and platinum bars hey i got a i got a plus one right. arcane grimoire i I'm still good. I still need Leo's vote, otherwise. So if uh, Calix, if Calix ever came back, I, is he holding some magical armor? <laughs> oh, probably. Know. Or did you replace like that piece I, with I one of the pieces? Right. So I have a tie between Eldwin and Onvir. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin, yeah. No, no, it's got to be Eldwin. He's got. He, it's it's his day. <laughs> Uh, I think time. I think Eldwin's yeah. had enough, but we'll see what the dice uh, say. I'm, got... I'm sorry, Onvir. I just thought it was funny because Eldwin was like, oh, "Well, apparently it is Eldwin's day." Eldwin. Apparently it is. <laughs> Eldwin just gets oh, everything today. All right. <laughs> Good game, everyone. Funny enough, yeah, I actually voted for Onvir because I'm like that. <laughs> I also voted for Onvir because. Big <laughs> time. All right, uh, so we'll do the uh, rest and everything next time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take some notes, but otherwise you guys are welcome to take off if you want. Uh, do we think we're going to go down and explore that un unexplored ruin be beneath <laughs> us? It's like a, It could be a whole new dungeon, or are we heading back to our people now? Um, I, I think we're too hard. Well, the no, I don't mean of, I don't mean without a rest. <laughs> the point I want to do it, but LJ would say no. Yeah, honestly, probably I don't know if we can. Yeah, we probably just want to head back. That would probably be the best thing. Okay. But, but don't get me can... wrong, I want to. But... Right. <laughs> but we can figure that out next time. Curi on curiosity. It is curiosity. dangerous uh, because you do still have a whole group of mercenaries who are yeah. looking around here. But it's up curiosity to you. TP curiosity TPK'd the party. Yes. <laughs> it certainly can. <laughs>